All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, we have a very important topic, so please invite your friends. And let us see how Muslims, they can answer this. Um, we have a Muslim, actually, he wanted to call me, and I told him to call me in a few minutes from now. So he will be with us soon. Please invite your friends. And I hope the timing is good for many of you. We change the timing a little bit. We are doing it earlier. So those who live in uh, east of Asia, they can join us. Look like the gentleman is calling. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Is this a Christian Prince? Yes, this is a Christian Prince. How are you? Oh, nice to meet you. I'm good. I've been listening to your videos and I've got a question for you, if that's okay. Yeah, no problem. But we have a topic today. Do you want to share with us? Um, is the topic what's the topic? It's about your prophet. Okay. Oh, you know, in Islam, who is the one who makes decision? Is it Allah? Is it the Prophet? Who? Allah. Where you get <clears throat> where you get this from? <clears throat> does it say um, where, does it say uh, does it say really that Allah or it says that Allah and Muhammad is the one who make decision? Oh, you're talking about the verse if Allah and the Prophet make a rule for you, it is not for you to question it, just uh, obey and follow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so maybe he's making the Prophet authority for the Muslims. Why? But ultimately, for the universe is Allah. Yeah, but how but why? How the verse says that if Allah and the Messenger, they make a decision for you, you take it as it is, as you said. Who is Muhammad yeah. to make decision for the believers? He's the Prophet, no? Yeah, but why he is why you are putting the name of Allah He's with the Allah's name? Messenger. Oh, because um, hmm. it becomes shirk, doesn't it? If you say like that, yeah, it is shirk because you are Especially. saying because you are saying it is Allah and the Messenger. If they make the a decision messenger. for you, okay, yeah. okay, how they make decision to you if only Allah is in control? Why Muhammad <laughs> is associating himself with no. Allah? To the point he and Allah they sit together, they discuss together, and they make a decision. When you say Allah and the Messenger, they make decision. You are you are saying it clearly, like if I say me and you, we made a decision, that's yeah. mean the people do understand that me and you we agree to do this, correct? All right. Okay. So that's mean Allah and Muhammad they agree to do this. Who is Muhammad to agree with Allah? I mean mm -hmm. Muhammad so is, maybe is, Allah is giving him the message for the Sahabas, like say for example, to make alcohol haram. Hmm. He's told the Prophet, you know, um, do not drink in stages. You know, slowly, slowly. Okay, yeah, it's benefits, hmm. maybe not good, hmm. and then don't come with your prayers drunk. And then hmm. slowly, so the uh, Allah and the Prophet, they you would talk to each other, and then the verse will be revealed. It's like whatever happened in Muhammad's life, the Quran is according to that. You see, the Muslim you know? they always present to us that Muhammad and Allah they are in love. In love, he's the uh, Habibullah, Ruhu, the Habibullah. Habibullah, right? He is, he is, he is uh, like uh, Allah is in love with, love. yeah, Allah, Allah, he is in love with Muhammad. And but I, this and is I my find question. this is my question, Christian Prince, hmm. because I wanted to ask you this because uh, listening to your other videos with the other Sheikh, but he turned out to be a potato because you asked him a question saying that is the word of Allah eternal and he couldn't agree that if his eternal is not part of his attribute and then the other guy my friend my friend they, they weren't really answering your questions because the way you were saying it, it's like it, it does because it does make me a question islam because i'm now thinking that maybe allah is a female hmm. well i'm thinking about that too happened? because you see because allah and muhammad they are in love too i mean if you if you look at the at the at the verse we are quoting together and you agree that the Quran all over and Islam teach that Allah is in love with Muhammad, but not necessarily Allah is a is a is a female, but Allah maybe a male, but they are they are in love. Muhammad and, and I read the Hadith Qudsi. You accept, um, we in Islam Hadith Qudsi is from Allah, right? The mm. Prophet he does speak of his own. Yeah. So it says narrated Um Salama, Hadith number eight four seven. Mm -hmm. Wife of the Prophet said that God's messenger, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, said, The womb is a derivative of God that clings to the loin of the Lord and asks God for its rights. So what mm. does this mean? Well, this you is this me. is this is the you see that in the old in, in, in before Islam, uh, uh, people they believe that the womb of the women, the womb mm. of the woman, yes, Raham, 
it is it, it is the womb of of god you know like women wish well, rahma, rahma means mercy as well so yeah but this arabic is, by, is a rich language but this is by time the arabic is not really arabic is a rich language but arabic is not really arabic arabic is a is a collection of languages but number one collection is coming from the aramaic yeah, yeah. so yeah. Uh, uh, the word rahma rahman is coming from the aramaic you know and even the christians mm. they use that word but doesn't mean anything it's about uh, uh, it, it have a connection for the old days when the Aramaic they used to be pagan. Yeah, you know, it have a connection. But it's, but it's not farj, is it? It's not farj. It doesn't mean vagina. Uh, no, the, the Rahma, the, the Raham is where the, the, the baby, you know, uh, is there. Literally. But you need to remember that in the old days, people, they, uh, even the Arab, like the black stone, the black stone oh. is what? Even the, the Tafsir says that the black stone was, was white. But the 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 uh, women, but, but women they, I, do, I read the Quran. I do not find the black stone in the Quran. It's not mentioned there. You know the verse. Yeah, but because this is you see this is something Muhammad later. If you notice Muhammad, he was mm. praying for many years toward J Jerusalem, right? Right. And then when he became victorious, which means at the end he became victorious in Mecca, uh, he changed the direction because it was a necessity of money. You know. Muhammad. Why? Why do you make money? Because, 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 because to generate the, income to the Makkah, to the Kaaba. Because the Kaaba became. It's like imagine if I force everybody to go to Las Vegas today, right? And make money, generate money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a pilgrimage became to make money. That's why Saudi Arabia is rich now because of the pilgrimage. Otherwise, you see, Saudi Arabia land. for the last fourteen centuries, especially let us see after after. Uh, uh, Islam is not powerful and uh, the caliphate they are not making money from attacking the neighbors Saudi Arabia their only one income they have is the Kaaba Yeah, because there was and no oil. oil there was no oil then after the oil, you know things that change But until now imagine if you, if uh, there's two million people they go during the Hajj time, right? And if every, every one of them he spend an average of four to five thousand dollars between airline ticket because the, even the government they make they make a percentage from this uh, airline so between mm -hmm. airline ticket and between hotel and spending money and buying gifts so if we if we but how do you know these hadiths are real because it came 250 years after imam bukhari he didn't even live in Kaab, Makkah. so what, how do we know this is authentic what, even the what, hadith, what hadith you're talking about and any hadith any the whole, the whole sahih my friend bukhari how we know hadith. even how we know even the quran is sahih because the quran is is not is uh, is uh, the hadith is older than the Quran in case you do not know. Uh, uh, How, who wrote the Quran? Then? There's no Quran. Where is the Quran? Do you know the Quran? Quran I have it. No, I have the Quran. Don't, no, you don't have the Quran. This is this is a Quran written according to someone recitation of Hafs, but nobody have the Hafs. book of Hafs. <laughs> where is the book of Hafs? Hafs in Asim? Yeah. Where is the book of Hafs? No, no one has this uh, manuscript. Nobody like have the... a book of Hafs. No, nobody. They have, well, copy, they, have, they, have, they have a copy. They have. They have a copy. They have a copy in Egypt. They claim it's three hundred years after Muhammad, which means in the in the at the end of the eighteenth yeah. century. They, they have copies in Samarkand, Birmingham manuscripts. What about those? They, they are different. Have, uh, they, some, uh, the Birmingham is one page. You know, I mean, this is not manuscript, and even that one is not the same as the Quran today. But uh, the Quran of Samarkand is big, big different between the Quran of Samarkand and the Quran. Even that one is not really that old. Uh, okay, so there's, there's the Quran of uh, uh, hold on. There's the Quran of uh, of uh, of Sana'a in Yemen. They found it. It's totally different from the Quran which they have it today. But even uh, all of them, they are not old still, but they are so, different. So if Quran. everyone knows this, if everyone knows this, why people don't leave Islam then? What do they you mean? Know, who said leave? they know? How many Muslims do know what even Islam is about? Ninety-nine percent of Muslims they do not know what Islam. I, I, will, I will explain to you why. You ask the let me ask me. Let, you let ask me the question to someone when he came in. He said. Um, he said he's a Muslim and you asked him what does it mean to be Muslim and he couldn't answer because he's, he told you it means someone to submit to the will of Allah this is not why is this not correct because not there's the, the, word, the word submit does not exist in Islam Islam no you see even the word Islam is a is a is a is a theft Muhammad they, they, have you ever heard of a guy his name is uh, Musaylama the Muslim they call him Musaylama but this is not his name you know they make fun of him his name is Muslim they change oh. it they change his name and they start making fun of him they say Musaylama Musaylama in Arabic it's like you say a car a, a, a caro like to make fun of the car like it's a small car you know like you say uh, 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 like to make fun of a man you know so you make him right. like you, you give him a a, a, a small name like a nickname. yeah like a nickname mm. to insult 
see so this guy he claimed to be a prophet his name is Muslim and now even in Islamic history books they changed the name and his you know and his God his name is he, he, he you know he called himself a Rahman if you go mm. if we go me and you mm. uh, if we go right now and we check the following let us see I don't have the YouTube open, so I cannot see. Uh, it's the, okay. Uh, it's okay. No problem. No problem, my friend. No problem. Okay. If we go here, oh, this website is not working. There's a the, there is a verse in the Quran. Where it says uh, to Allah, all the good names. Have you ever heard of the name of the of the verse? Um, to yeah. Allah, Allah Yes, this one. No, no, all no. The good names. No. no. Uh, I'm talking about ninety-nine names. They asked Muhammad once mm -hmm. he decided to write the word Ar Rahman. Before mm -hmm. that, he never mentioned that word. So they said to him, "Who is a Rahman?" Muhammad now he have two God Allah and the Rahman so Muhammad uh, uh, if you go and read the story you will find that Muhammad he was uh, he received a letter from this guy the one your Muslims okay. call him read, read, hold on hold on the one they call him Musaylama they said to mm -hmm. him what is the name they said to him why you are calling like your God a Rahman it says Say, Who's the reply? say, I call him Allah or I call him Rahman. Whatever I call him, all the good names belong to him. And this is telling you that Muhammad yeah. is a false prophet. Why? Because, uh, how? How? because simply, this is chapter 17, verse 110. So until now, Muhammad, he never, he never uh, uh, remember that the God name is a Rahman. And now suddenly he said, Rahman, why? He received a letter from the guy who is, his name is Rahman al Yamama, which you call him Musaylim al Kadhab, which means Musaylim al Surah 17, Surah 17, yeah, chapter 17, verse 110. And those who believe not in the hereafter for whom we have prepared a painful doom. This is chapter. No, Surah 17, verse 110. Oh, 110, sorry, sorry. Yeah. 110. Say to mankind, call to Allah or call to the beneficent. To whichever you call, it is same. Hmm. His are the most beautiful names. Okay. And you, Muhammad, be not loud in those words. Hmm. Here, you see, yeah. you see, if, if Allah is the name, is if, uh, if Muhammad, you see. But Allah is a word mean God. No, Allah is a name. No, no, it's a name, my friend. It's a name. The word God. Al -ilah, al -ilah, Allah. No, no, Al Ilah, different word. Al Ilah is an Aramaic word. Mean uh, uh, il la il la, which you see, like you know, uh, like in, in the same in Arabic, we say ar rub the al al al, you know, uh, in Arabic is uh, uh, the, uh, but in the old yeah. language, in the old language, a l is a word mean God, and sometimes the word appear in the a beginning, L, huh? L. yeah, but e -L is a word. no, e l later became e l in the uh, even in oh. ancient uh, uh, Hebrew. In the beginning, like Israel was not Israel, it was Israel. Uh, Ishmael was not Ishmael, it was Ishmael. Okay, oh, so uh, the language evolved over time. This is what you're saying. Yeah, the ancient in the ancient Hebrew, it was a l, not e a l. So by time it became a l. But the, the, the name of the God of Islam keep the old word, the old Aramaic word, which a l. So, but who is the pagan God of Islam? It was Hubal, not Allah. So, how Hub can Hubal, you see, Huba, Huba, Al. Al is the word mm. mean God, same as Baal, 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 you know? Baal. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, uh, Al is a word inside the, the name of Allah, and that uh, uh, that will lead us to Al, and uh, if you go to chapter 1, verse number 2, it says, Alhamdulillah, Lil, Lah, okay? Li in Arabic mean two. Lah two. is the name of your God. Did you ask yourself what it happened to Allah? There, but you don't say it because... But you know Arabic grammar. This is how it is, isn't it? To connect the words. No, 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 no. This is not how, because in Arabic grammar you cannot take you cannot take letters from a name. It doesn't matter what the grammar. So you are saying Allah means the la. My friend, the la. my friend. If 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 the name 
if, if it's a name all of it is a name you cannot take letters from it there's no grammar can change it you know true, true, true. Okay. okay you're right you're right because yeah. you can't yeah but um the letter j didn't exist in the bible but yeah you say yeshua is jesus it evolved no, like this j, Make, j okay this is not this is not a change in the name this is making equivalent like because they don't have a letter what they can do you know like mm -hmm. you, you cannot say you cannot say they cannot say yes yeshua as an example in arabic i say yeshua in the hebrew yeshua why because in in the same uh, like the same as any dialect sometimes the scene appear as Sheen. You said the name is the name. You said the name is the name. You can't change the name. You no cannot change. What. No, you cannot so change. Why? You cannot. You cannot change. No, you cannot change. But and this is not a change, by, by the way, because this is the same name. But Yeshua, Jesus, totally different. No, it's not Yeshua. Actually, it's it's Yeshua. You see, because you cannot pronounce it Da'in, so they say Yeshua. Ye ye Yeshua. Yeshua. But it is Yeshua. Yeshua. So uh, right. uh, some nations they cannot pronounce the name because they don't have equal letter. Okay. Okay, makes no. sense. Like in the Arabic, no P, you know. Like yeah. a same time, like if you go in the Quran today translation, they say Isa, they say Jesus, right? Yeah. But, but there's no Jesus in the Quran. It's Isa, right? And if we ask Isa. who is Isa, nobody knows. We never heard of Isa. No, not oh, Isa, Isa ibn Maryam. Yeah, but we never heard, you know, in Arabic. We know who is Isa. Not a single Arabic Isa, Christian. Isa, Isa, Isa. It should be Yeshu, isn't it? Yeshu. No, Isa is a wrong name. Uh, 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 we don't know where Muhammad is from, coming from, but maybe Muhammad is trying to copy from the Greek, you know, uh, 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 of Isa. So he trying to copy such a name from the Greek. But this is telling us again that Muhammad is a false prophet, because if Isa, if Muhammad he chose, look, if you look at the Quran, you will see Muhammad he chose two Greek names, the Injil and the Isa. Okay. If Isa is a, is a Greek, Greek name, okay, why? Because the Injil is a Greek, it is a Greek book. Yeah, but Muslims they believe that Isa was sent to the Hebrew. Yeah, but <laughs> so, you know so, the Old New Testament was written in Greek. No, my friend. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Not, not the Old Testament. The New Testament. The Old Testament. Yeah, the New Testament. Then yeah. Hey, but but yeah, listen. So but but, but listen. Testament, but okay. But listen. But listen. Isn't it the Quran says to you that we never send a messenger except in the language of his people? True. Okay. And, 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 and Muslims they keep repeating that uh, Isa was sent to the Jews. So how he sent to the Jews, yet he speak to them in Greek? Because, mm -hmm. because he's just saying the book is the book is name is in Greek in Gil, right? No, no, no. Okay, no. But the, the, the name. Have you ever heard of a of a, a name of a book in Chinese, but the inside is English? No, but the New Testament was written in Greek. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That's that's me, Muhammad. That's me, Muhammad. You are right, but Muhammad, the New Testament, first of all, is written in three languages, major three languages, and there are other languages. But this is not the question. The question is, if Isa is sent to the Hebrew, why his name? Who is the one who give the name? The name, is it Allah or Isa? Allah, is it Allah? Is the one who give it the name? But Isa is not really his name either. No, no, no. Hold on, no. don't, 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 don't mess things, things around. Focus with me. Who is the one who named the book of Isa in Jeel? Is it Isa or Allah? Allah. This is his book. Correct? It is the book of Correct. Allah, supposedly. Okay. So why Allah he no, choose but... why Allah he choose a Greek name for a Hebrew uh, 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 messenger? One second, Christian Prince. Sorry. Yeah. What? No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll come back later. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm having a debate. Yes. Yeah. Oh, are we on YouTube right now? Yeah, do you hear me? Uh, uh, do, you, do you understand what I said? Yeah, I did. I did. Because, but uh, we know that the Bible was written by men inspired by God. So this is what God is saying. It's His book, but He inspired it through the. My men. friend, doesn't matter. But doesn't matter. The name, the name, uh, Allah book is not is not uh, according to Islam. There's nothing is called the Bible written by man inspired by God. Islam believe that every word sent is sent by Allah word by word. They don't believe no that's only for the quran only for the quran we believe no 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 no, the... no 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 everything is inspiration from allah you can't tell me why you can't tell me what the muslims believe because this is the you, because you do know not know what you believe you know since when you know what we believe if i ask you now what allah mean do you know allah is uh, the god where gets from what do you mean the god i'm asking you what it's mean i'm not asking you the god i know that this is the name of your god what what the name mean what the name mean yeah that's what I I don't know. I don't know. See, here we go. Do so don't tell me that uh, how you teach the Muslims. I don't know. If what I asked you, you if I asked you what if I asked you what Isa mean, do you know? Isa? Yeah. Harry? What Harry? What what? 
Esau comes from the hairy. What hairy mean? Hairy? You have hair? Hair. 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 <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if. I'm not an Arabic speaker, my friend, so okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm... not even, not in the, not only you. All the Muslims do not know what Israel mean. They do not know. I'm, I'm from what, Bangladesh. What Abraham? I, I what Abraham mean? What Abraham mean? They don't know. What Jibril mean? They don't know. What Israel mean? Or they don't know. What Mikhail name? Because it's Abraham not. It's... Means someone, Abraham means like someone who crossed over to the other part. But uh, yeah, children, you, yeah, you are Abraham. watching me. I understand, but this is not in Islam. Yeah. You learned that from me. Yeah, I did. I did. Too. Okay, so what, <laughs> what, what, what is the answer in Islam? What is the answer in Islam? There's no answer. So Islam, don't tell me that you want to teach me my religion. Yes, I will teach you religion. Even the Muslims, they do okay, not so know. Tell, even even so the Muslims. Look, look. The, the let me show you. Let me show you how foolish Islam is. Do you know the father, the father of Abraham? What his name in the Quran? It's Azar. Azar. Okay. Azar. Like Tara, the Bible. Azar. Is a word mean foolish, or fool? Yeah. How this has became a name in the Quran for the father of Abraham? Chapter 67, verse number 4. Could read for me, please. The Muslims, because they don't know what this word means, and including Muhammad, they said, okay, well, this is, must be the name of the father of Abraham, but Muhammad is copying it from someone else's book. So Who he, did he copy from? He copied from Muraq ibn Nawfal. Copy. But how did Warak al Nawfal know all these um, things? You know, the Warak al Nawfal, even the hadiths confirm that Warak al Nawfal was translating from yes, the Bible, from yes, from the Aramaic into the uh, Arabic. And this yeah, is the, but the Quran mentions a lot of it mentions a lot of things like the you know the gestation period of the baby in the womb. Uh, you know, this is like why the, this, this is this is why it's stupid. Why is it stupid? It's because science. we will talk about that. No problem. Let's finish this one. Okay. Uh, Abraham said to his father Azar, you see the Muslim they don't translate the word Azar. Why? Because they think this is a word. It's a name of the father of Abraham. Mm. Okay, but this is a word being foolish and that makes sense. Put it in contact. Lou Abraham said to his father foolish. Are you going to okay. worship false gods? Makes sense. Okay, so the, the okay. idiots, the idiots in Islam, including Muhammad, I'm not, not insulting, I'm saying what I believe. He took the word from the book of Waraka. He put it there. He did not know what Azar mean. He keep it as it is. He thought it's a name. Azar, what does it mean foolish in Arabic? No, it's an Aramaic language. Aramaic language. Yeah, because Baruch the Bible Muhammad is, yeah, because obviously this is a waraqa. He learned Aramaic, you know, and he knew. Uh, he, 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 but he, in the Quran, a, does Allah not say, Logat al Arabiya, the Quran, in the best Arabic? The Quran have nothing in Arabic. Even the word Quran is not Arabic. There's nothing in Arabic. It's called Quran. This is false word. This does not exist. It's a Ikra from Ikra. no Ikra. Uh, even Ikra. even the word Ikra is not Arabic. It's it's an Aramaic from Qarra Waraa. Qarra, it's you you say something with your lips. Raa is something you see something with your eyes. So Qaraa, but there's nothing. It's called Quran. There's nothing. It's called Quran. Quran is a wrong word. It's like in Arabic we say Akala uh, Yakulu uh, Aklan. You don't say Aklanan. You know. So Qaraa Qaraa. Uh, uh, is the word which is coming from the Aramaic, yeah. But then Quran okay. is, a, is a funny word. At the same time, uh, uh, everything in this religion, as you see, is based on a man who claimed that he and his God they make decision, and this is shirk. You know, when when you accept that Muhammad and Allah, if they make a decision for you, Muslims, I mean, if I am a man who is obedience to God, and I am just a messenger of God. Why I'm putting my name in Quran? Who is the one saying that there? Allah Himself, supposedly. Obviously, Muhammad is inserting the name of his God next to his name to give himself a holy, uh, uh, holy uh, Maybe. Uh, uh, position. Holy power. Yeah. yeah. So now, so now, whatever but Muhammad maybe. he say. Otherwise, hmm. who is the one who decide? If we ask any Muslim, who is the one decide? Like I asked you, you said to me, Allah. But as you see, it is not for a believing men, and all of, all of it is about sex. If you go and see, it's about sex. All the things Muhammad he, he gave himself power right away when the, it's connection with sex. Zainab ibn to Jahish. Allah, if, if you search for the word Qada, you know, you will find that Qada. Qada minha Zaydun wa Taran. Qada, he was the same word. Why the Qada Allahu wa Rasulahu? Allahu wa Rasulahu. And if the Prophet and Allah, Allah and the Messenger they made a decision, Allah and the Messenger made a decision, how that can be? Okay, maybe like a king, he gives the order to his servant. No, my friend, it says no. It says Allah and his messenger have decided the matter. 
you see if I am a messenger I don't decide that's true but here it says Allah and the messenger they decide the matter so how Allah can be God and Muhammad is a prophet obviously both so, of them they are God, God so yeah. did God and Jesus not um, agree upon each other? You know, when uh, Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he's asking, Lord, Lord, take this cup from me, whatever. And then... No, they, it's uh, not, you see, okay, let, let, me, let me ask you about this. You see, we as a Christian, we believe in the Trinity. And Jesus okay. here, Jesus here, uh, uh, you know, always Jesus, when he's on earth, he called himself the son of a man. But we know that in Christianity and in, in Islam, Jesus is a son of no man, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. But he called himself the son of a man, which means why while I am in the flesh son of, of man a man. Is a title. Hmm? Son of man as a title. The, as a he, as a description he, of his format that he's a, he's a, he's in the flesh. He's in the flesh. Okay. Yeah. But he is the son of no man. So uh, uh, always he speak about himself in such a way. But in the same time he say that everything I have is given to me from the father, and he he, he confirmed that he is obedient to the father. So yeah, but how, my father and your father, it's okay. the same. No, 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 no. Even, even that one, because because Jesus here is speaking to them. You see, uh, uh, we believe that Jesus have two nature in the same time: the nature of a man and the nature of God. So the Messiah, hundred percent, listen, and hundred percent. Yeah, listen, listen. It doesn't when, logical. When when uh, uh, when the Jews always they talk to him. What mm. if I talk? If I if the Messiah came to me and he's a man, I'm not mm. going to understand what he's saying to me by saying to me I'm God. You know, like um, he's a man. I mean, I see a man in front of me. So, what do you mean you are? You know. So, in yeah. order to 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 present himself in a way which Muslim people will not uh, uh, go in chaos, because you know he, he will get killed in the first day if he says, "I am God," I mean, immediately. But he did but get killed. He got killed. He got killed. He got killed because he was. You know, it's it's a mission. You know, he have to finish it. And it when the time was to die? when the time no the mission is not to die. The mission is to deliver. What God is about to teach us, and He did, and this is why in the cross He said it's completed. It's complete. So if Jesus didn't, if Jesus didn't die on the cross, would it still be okay for Christianity? You see, you die? see, uh, it's, it's it's Christianity. Christianity is not based on the cross only. The Christianity is yeah. based on Jesus. So if He die or not, that will not really change much, except that we believe that anything Jesus He did, He did it for us. So the cross happened. So the cross happened for us. Uh, he he came to the earth. He came for us. He healed the people to show us his his power and his. But his he ability. came two thousand years ago. You know, for us right now, that's back in the past. It's, it's an instance in the past that happened two thousand years ago. Still that until now, this, uh, my friend. Still until now, there's tons of miracles happening in the name of Jesus, and they are real around the world. And me myself, I witnessed some of them. So we we you know we have a we have God who do not need witnesses for He witnessed for Himself. Not the same as Muhammad. No witnesses at all. Even the angel came to him. Nobody saw the angel. A guy, he came to Muhammad. He asked him a few questions. He left. After he left, Muhammad, he said, do you know who's this guy? They said, who? He said, this is Jibreel. I mean, what a joke. So how did these people not see this man again and then say, oh, you're Jibreel of trap him? You know, they, there would have been another story. Well, in the hadith, they, you know, you, was, they saw him again. You know, there's Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad, he fabricated stories. Yes. And, you know, Muhammad, he got busted. But how would you not be found out? My friend, my friend, so much, have you it, ever, it, have it, you it, ever, hold on, hold, have you ever have a guy, his name is Dahil Kalbi? Never. Dahil Kalbi is in is Jibreel. <laughs> Dahil Kalbi is the same guy, <laughs> Muhammad, he sent him, he sent him to the king of the Roman in Jerusalem to, to, to carry his letter. He was the most oh. handsome man in Quraysh and he was oh. the boyfriend of Muhammad. Here we go. Read, read with me carefully. It says that the Hail Kalbi, mm -hmm. that Jibreel, come to Muhammad always. Where's this reference? Where's this coming from? This is Sahih. Sahih this is Sahih and Nisa'i. We can show it from the Bukhari. No problem. It's all over. It says, uh, I, uh, I don't know him more than any uh, among you. That was Jibreel. Peace be upon him. Be upon you. Who came down in the form of the Hail Kalbi. Mm. Mm. Now, if you mm. go, if you go and search the books, you will find that Aisha she was jealous from the Hilkalbi and from Salman the Pharisee, both of them. Uh, Aisha she said that the Hilkalbi, uh, Muhammad, he never say no to the Hilkalbi, and it was always he he received him with a smile, but yet he say no to my father, which means Abu Bakr mm. he come to her house, Muhammad he might say I'm busy, tell him to come mm. later, but no mm. way, no way. He will say, I'm busy to the Hilkalbi. Okay, so maybe they had a special friendship. 
special yeah, friendship, know. very special friendship, and uh, even after middle of the night. <laughs> we, no. can't, we can't jump into, without proof, you cannot say this. No, no, I can, my friend, I can. You know, Muhammad, obviously, he, no, he, proof. no there is a proof. He no, there is a proof, there is a proof. There, there, is, there is a story, uh, I should find it for you, where Ibn Abbas, he entered the house of Muhammad, and he saw, it, it says in the, in the books, uh, uh, that he found it in a meditation position mm -hmm. or situation. Meditation okay, situation, but didn't describe to us what is that. And then the guy right away he left when when, when Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas was a kid, you know. The guy he right away okay. he left. So Ibn Abbas he said to him, "Is that Dahya? He was with you." Okay. Muhammad he said, "Yes, he looked like he Dahya, but this is Jibril." Now you tell me, okay. why first of all, Jibril is coming in the look of this guy Dahya. I mean now, I, I mean now we will have two two people in the street, so people will be confused. Who is Dahia and who is Jibril? Mm -hmm. So so Dahia now, if, <laughs> Dahia, if you want to, Dahia now he can play a scam anytime. He can say I am Jibril because the Prophet he confirmed that Jibril comes in his image. So okay, if if he is if Jibril does choose to do that because maybe he doesn't want to scare the Sahabas to give Prophet uh, the messages, why why not? Why is it not possible for him to do that? Allah is possible to change the form of Jibreel to make Dahya Kalbi to talk to But why 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 a guy he is next door neighbor for you and he is the most handsome man in Quraysh why and the man who come always to Muhammad anytime you see Aisha when she mentioned mm -hmm. that Dahya he come always to Muhammad she did not say Jibreel she said Dahya so she's always talking mm -hmm. about the same person who is Dahya that always he is welcome in the house of Muhammad and Muhammad never said to her uh, no to him and Aisha is jealous because why this man he have a special treatment. He's this is Dahya. This is not the angel Jibreel now. So Muhammad obviously he wanna give an excuse why this guy he come anytime. Why this guy so he Dahya can be Kalbi found. The one who squeezed him at the cave. The one who what? The one who squeezed him in the cave. Is Nobody squeezed him in the cave. This is a lie. I mean, that's the story of the squeeze oh, in the cave. This is the first story of Islam. What my friend, my friend, Islam? my friend, let me ask you, let me ask you. Just, just to prove easy that this, the story about Muhammad being squeezed in the cave is a lie. Uh, if an angel, he want to tell you, read, do he need to squeeze you? Maybe. Why? What, what the squeezing will do? <laughs> Maybe like send blood to the brain so he could read. Okay, let us say this is the reason. Uh, 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 Jibreel is a doctor Jibreel now, so he know what the, the blood will, will go where. Okay. Do, do it in the doctor's like a nice way. Uh, hold on. The, uh, 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 Muhammad, he been squeezed three times. Did he understand what the angel want? No. He said, Ikra. Ma, yeah, but, uh, but still Muhammad, he keeps saying to him, uh, ma <laughs> He never said, I understand. Right? He's, yeah. He squeezed him three times. Did Muhammad say now? Okay, I get you. I will read what? Let me read. No. Same time, the story is stupid. How you say to him, Iqra, when you are not giving him paper? Because Iqra, you remember it, when we speak about the word Quran and Qara? Qara, yeah, you, have Qara you have to read, you have to see something, and you have, yeah. you know. Now the Muslim, they say, Yaqra uh, al uh, Quran, it's me recite the Quran. That's false. There's nothing. There's... No, no, he was shown something by Jibreel, the tablets, Lahu Bahfuz. No, no, no. They never give him anything, my friend. I can show you the hadith. There's no, there's no, no such a thing. Show me the hadith. Show me the hadith. Okay. Uh... Let's see. You know Here the tablets, go. the Quran that we have to read. Read, read with me. Read with me, my friend. Read with me. The Muslim they, they fabricate tons of stories to to cover to cover the problem of this religion. Read with me here. Okay, this is Sahih. Yeah, this is Sahih. This is Sahih Bukhari. Uh, the messenger was in the in the form of good, righteous, and true dream in his sleep. He never had a dream, but that had come true like bright day light. He used to go in the seclusion of the cave of Hira, where he used to worship Allah alone. Uh, continuously, for many days, nights, he used to take him to the journey, the food for that stay, etc. Okay, then. And then come back to his wife Khadija and take the food, etc. Okay. Till suddenly the truth descended. The truth. Imagine, imagine how insulting this is. Because if Jibreel is the truth, that means he is God. Because this is one of the names of Allah, Al Haq. The truth descended upon him while he was in the cave of Hira. 
the angel came to him oh, and it you, asked yes. my friend hold, hold on let us let us let us, let us read together all right uh, the angel came to him and asked him to read do you see the word read I don't know if you can see the screen he said to him read uh -huh. yeah. the prophet replied I do not know how to read the prophet added angel cut me uh, forcefully and pressed me so uh, so hard and I could not bear it anymore then he released me again and asked me to read and then I replied what about Anabikari mean? I cannot read huh means I cannot read well according, well, what to, what according, what? according to the Muslims understanding which is very funny and very stupid sorry to say uh, uh, Muhammad I believe he was not saying <clears throat> I cannot read I believe he was say saying what uh -huh. read what you know yeah read but, what? Yes. but as long as what the Muslims believe we have to go with it what we can no, do no, no. No, but th no, this is the scholars. Scholars are infallible. They're not. Uh, they're not infallible with the. the no, no, so no, no, no. You Let say you see, the problem is if the problem. Your, your, your prophet. He don't talk. He do poo poo. Each time he say something, he destroy everything. Muhammad he said that batil. He said my nation will not agree upon something. Is it? It is. It is. It's false. And now the scholars they use this as a, as a scale. So they say as long the majority agree that this is what is meant. That's mean we are right. That is Tamar that's it. You know, so Muhammad. So he... tomorrow... No, 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 this is not right. This is Ijma of the scholars. This is not right. No, no, he said that, my friend. Let me show you the hadith. You, you know, you have no idea what I'm talking about. No, that... I believe the hadith. I believe, I believe the hadith. Yeah. But how they interpret it is uh, up to you, you know. No, there's no, they are right. You know, there's, if, if he is a true prophet, uh, their, their interpretation is right. So, my nation. Uh, they will not agree upon something is false you know here we go mm. read it you see this is a hadith every see. muslim believe in it and it's a confirmed by all of them and they use it as a scale for anything they do all right so we'll my nation will not agree about something they will not unite they will not agree about something misguided misguided or you know or wrong so now they will see okay as long the majority they agree with this that's mean here we go the prophet he gave us the scale how we can make a decision as long as the majority agree it must be right because this is this is inspiration from Allah now if we go back to the story where Muhammad being squeezed three times regardless if it is he's saying to him read and so Muhammad says I cannot read or he's saying to him read what still the story is stupid because uh, uh, if, if the angel saying to him read and Muhammad saying read what I mean why the angel squeezing him and repeating the same thing well, I just told you read what tell me what read what okay. that's it. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? So Maybe something happened in the cave. We do not know but, what happened. Yeah. <laughs> he lost his mind <laughs> My friend come on. This is a story supposedly it is it is it, this is a godly story I mean, this is the, the first day the inspiration coming to Muhammad This is not this is a big day and look how silly and look how stupid So he squeezed him three times and the question now why three times the Christian believe in the Trinity Why everything in Muhammad life is three times? So when Jesus was first baptized, listen, when Jesus was first baptized and it says in the gospel, he heard a dove coming down from heaven mm. and a voice from the heaven saying, this is my son, you shall blah, blah, blah. So if everyone heard him, everyone should believe that this is Jesus, but no one heard him because in the other, in Mark, it doesn't mention that. It's only in the later gospels of John, it mentions that. So you can see that the Bible is not really. No, um, my friend, no, my friend. No, 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 my, my friend. Every you see the Bible is written by by four four uh, uh, four writers and everyone we do not need to repeat the same story exactly the same because if we do then there's no point of having four books there's no point if I am if I am letter by letter the same as an example let us say I was uh, I was in the front of the cross you will see that this disciple they they report what they what 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 they've been said and what been said based what based in what they knew so this person he said the Roman the Roman he said this they thought that Jesus saying Elijah Elijah you know Jesus was saying Eli Eli so they, they are reporting what they what people heard what people they thought what people etc so this could be misinformation no 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 this is not misinformation. this is true this is what happened so if I was there according to them according to their eyewitness yeah, but this right. is this is they are reporting what they what they thought it, 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 it's it's a hadith. It's hadith. The gospel, the full gospel. But this, but Sobhiyah. this hadith, my friend, is coming from Muhammad. This is not from someone else. Muhammad, he went back. He told Khadija. Khadija told us, and told, Muhammad himself. He told everybody. So this is 
what Muhammad he witnessed for himself. There is no witnesses there. There's no four witnesses. There's no Luke. There's no Mark. There's no John. There's nobody. So, yes. so was he known as trustworthy Al Amin? Sorry, of the Prophet, he was known as Al Amin. What is Amin about him? Do you know what Al Amin mean? Truthful one. How he can be truthful, but he went to the house of of Zainab and he flirted with her because you know? he saw her and that, then he said, "My heart flips for you." Yeah. Allah so is that a trustworthy? I mean, does not mean by the truthful. It means the trustworthy. Okay. Trustworthy. Okay. So if if a man, if your father, with my respect, your family came to your house and he flirted with your wife when she is not when you are not home, is that a trustworthy for you? Oh no. no. Oh, this is what Muhammad is about. So how is it trustworthy? What kind of ethic? I mean, Make even 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 a bad person, even a bad person would not do that. I mean, uh, uh, I, I even a bad, 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 bad. You know. But my friend, my friend, in the Quran it says uh, the Quran like when they they wanted to divorce her. No, you see the same verse I'm showing you. Actually, this is about the same story. Muhammad, you see. Let, let me show you the conspiracy of Muhammad. How how bad this man is. When Muhammad. He wanted Zainab to be in the house of this man so he can get into her. He don't. He he he's not. You know he don't want to marry is her. His own cousin sister. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, Zainab listen. Been listen, listen. She's listen. So my friend, listen, listen, listen. Muhammad he wanted to marry Zainab to Zaid, and he did. Yes. And later we yes. find that Muhammad he go to the house when the husband is not there. Yes. Isn't it obvious that he did marry her so he can sleep with her? Why did he just marry her then? Because there is there, there, yeah, yeah. obviously there is a reason. There is a reason. Obviously, there is a reason. We do not know what the real reason, but obviously, Muhammad he worked hard to get this man married from this woman, mm. and he even make it as a decision from Allah. That's it. Don't discuss. Yeah. Okay. So I am making so decision, and Allah make a decision, and later we find. You see, if Muhammad did marry this woman to this person, and Muhammad never do something wrong with it, okay, we we'll say okay, this is the, the, this is his son. And this is the father he decided to marry this woman to him that's wonderful but we notice now that muhammad he have no ethic and he have no problem well, I, asked, I asked the question to my father he said because allah wanted to show that it's okay to marry your adopted son's wife but then later on in the verse he like cancelled out adoption so i don't i don't know if that'll make sense you see uh, hold on if allah want want you want you to marry uh, th this woman if you notice with me all uh, muhammad he claimed that allah it's uh, here uh, uh, Allah and the messenger they decide the, the matter that's it okay so we marry Zainab to this man then right away verses after uh, uh, Allah uh, uh, it says the word the word qada. Qada when, when when even 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 the sentence is disgusting when when Zayd, when because what which means he have enough of having enjoying her you know I mean it's disgusting it's, it's a filthy way you see the water you take water you say like when you have a sheep you know you, you take a bite you take a bite and you eat from it you know so he ate from enough huh you take a bite from a shit no a sheep a sheep a sheep so like sheep, when, wow. if you are eating you know so uh, uh, you you take your share of her you take your share of of, of biting you know and here is about sex yeah okay. so now he have enough sex with her so now he uh, uh, and if, if you read the verse, it's very very stupid because Allah saying to, uh, Muhammad saying to the man, "Why you want to leave your wife?" But the guy um, uh, an hour ago he was in the house of the man flirting with the wife. Mm. I mean, this is hypocrisy. Imagine I was in your house flirting with your wife, and then you come to me says, "Hey, CB, I want to divorce my wife." I say, "No, no, man, keep her, keep her." But Zainab, she wanted Muhammad though because she did. She agreed to my divorce. My friend Zainab, obviously, she is a whore. She is with him in the bed from the beginning. She for sure uh, Zaid is a slave. Muhammad is the if king. She liked him, then why wouldn't she just marry him first? Then because like, he forced her. Like That's it. As you see, as you see, she don't she don't dare to say no. no her family cannot say no. Nobody can say. He said, look what he says. Ida qada Allahu wa Rasulahu amran. That's it. Don't discuss if Muhammad and if, if Allah and the Messenger they made a decision. Don't discuss with me. Then we can't discuss this then, then we nobody can discuss that's it it says allah when yeah. allah and his messenger has have decided a matter huh everyone should mm -hmm. obey that's it you cannot you cannot say no it's all it's, you it's, cannot question you can't question muhammad you cannot question and not only that he, he he attached his name to allah so now we have two names together and both they cannot you know separate it so the second know, and, there, and there is tons of verses in the quran says 
واطيعوا الله واطيعوا الرسول يو نو اوبي الله اند اوبي ذا مسنجر ذات سيد سو اف محمد سيز يو هاف يو اوبي ذا مسنجر يو هاف تو اوبي ذا قران بيكوز ذات از ذا مسج نو بيكوز ذير از ماني ماني ثينجز ان ذا قران اجينست وات محمد سيد ان ذا حديث ستيل مسلم دي فولو ذا حديث قول اطيعوا الله واطيعوا الرسول شابتر 3 فيرس نمبر 32 شابتر 3 فيرس 132 يو نو اتس اول اوفر شابتر 4 فيرس 59 يو نو مفتي ابو لايف مفتي هو ابو لايف اي دونت نو هو ذس جاي يوتيوب يوتيوب مفتي سو هي سي مالكي اند وي دونت هاف تو اكسبت اول ذس حديث وي كان ريجكت صحيح حديث سو اتس نو بروبلم My friend, this is a lie goes, because, because uh, no, 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 this is a lie because here we go. Just to get the, your, your let, ask him to come and debate me. You see, I'm talking to you with, with my respect to you. I'm, I'm talking to you with your level. Get me this mufti and I will make him shish kebab because the second you say you can refuse Sahih hadith and anything contradict with the Quran, it's mean you have to delete all the hadith because all the hadith is against the Quran. All the hadith okay, is against the Quran. Well, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Uh, uh, what 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 the Quran speak about? Uh, 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 how Allah He taught mankind? With the pen. By the pen. The, uh, Muslims. Yeah. This guy he believe your your mufti believe that Muhammad was illiterate, correct? No. no, actually he says that Muhammad could read and write because according. Okay, hold on. To, uh, Muhammad he can even that would be a problem. Let me show you why. Because if why? Muhammad he couldn't write, read and write, then still Allah have to teach him by the pen. Did he give him anything by the pen? No, no, that's true. No, did he give this? Uh, yeah. Chapter 96, verse number four. Okay, did Allah taught Muhammad anything by the pen? He taught mankind to the pen. No, 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 no. You see, you see, hold on, hold on. Taught mankind, he did not taught Muhammad. So all the mankind, they they live by the pen. Why Adam? He 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 was Adam. Adam he was Adam. He was born, uh, or he he created. He he know how to use the pen. The pen have nothing yeah. to do with Allah or any God. This is this is a lie, because simply God is not the one who created the pen. What is the first thing Allah created? Did Allah give us? But yeah, this is His pen. This is His pen. Did He give us a pen? No, man can't make this one. This is not literal, okay. my friend. So no, 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 it is. It is because we say, He taught them by the pen. Then we need, we, he, should, he should send us a pen. If this is his pen. And by the way, why Allah have a pen? Oh, you're being silly. You're hold being on, hold silly. on. Why, why Allah have a pen? To write down the destinies of all that's, everything. That's funny. Isn't it the Quran says, uh, 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 like if, uh, if Allah wants something to be, he said be? What do you mean to write the destiny? Why he need to write Kun it? Kun, Kun Fayakun, that's when he creates. My friend, no. And he, uh, 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 this is my challenge to you. Show me one thing Allah created by saying be and it was. Just one. Just one? Just one. I will give you 10,000 years. <laughs> if, if You see how sure yeah. I am? I will give you 20,000 years. To show, me, to show me, to show me one the thing. To the, the heavens and the earth. He but he did not create it by saying uh, uh, "be" and "was." Let there it, be light. It took him. Life. No, this is the the Bible. You are mi mixing things up in the same, Bible. God, God, huh? Same God. No, the no, God of no. East, don't uh, don't don't mix things the up. Quran says, in the Quran, it says. Is the God of Abraham is my friend? This is Bish, uh, Shish Kebab. I, I can say I am God and I I am the God of Abraham. Well, who does is that? You know, okay, but it, you, have, you have okay. Anyone can say anything, okay. But now, now, the, no, what is or, or, there is no way, smile. my friend, if we have the same God, we should have the same heaven at least. Have you ever heard of a guy he have a heaven full of women, a vagina, and the other one says there's no marriage? Maybe and there's want to, in heaven, you can have anything you want, bro. No, no, this is false because this is stupid actually to say to have anything you want. But if somebody is a gay, what if somebody want to have sex with Muhammad, then they can. That's wonderful. So Muhammad now is bending over, and people are lined up to do to no, do him. No, but Allah wouldn't let that happen. Allah wouldn't. Let no, that you happen. you made the promise. You said whatever you wish. The second you make a promise, whatever but you why, wish, this means whatever you, you wish. Why, why would you want to have sex with Muhammad in prison? My friend, the second you say whatever you wish, you have to keep your promise. If I say to you, yeah, no go inside my house. Hold on, hold on, my friend. Let us be honest here. If I say oh. to you, whatever you wish, go inside my house and you pick it up. Have whatever you wish. And then yeah. inside my house, we have my wife. And I say, okay, I want to have her. I just yeah. told you, I promised you that whatever you wish, that's it. Yes. I should say, whatever you wish, except this and this and this. Mm -hmm. But I told you, whatever you wish, that's it. So, you know, this is, this is madness. In the same time, 
uh, uh, the Quran says stupid things like as you said you know you said to me and we, I said let us talk about this later you said the creation of the baby right you said science the creation of the yeah. baby okay let's talk about that how the baby is created in the Quran the Quran uh, the drop emitted between the backbone and the rib hmm. and then it goes inside the first the formation um, okay first is close uh, clot a leech hmm. like thing Mm. Then it's closed with flesh, then bones, then <coughs> then it's uh, formed in it mm. with the soul. Mm. Yes. So I can't remember the verse exactly. So is that is that correct? Generally, yes. But generally. not accurate because it says the bones first, then the skin. But you know, this like um, how did they know this? You know, like gestation period and all this. What the station? In my friend, there's no station here. You see, in order to understand, in order to understand what Muhammad is talking about, you have to go and read what Muhammad explained the verse. So Muhammad, he speak about that. So if we go now into the hadith, and we search, we just do the tafsir. Say, go tafsir. No, the tafsir is based on the uh, tafsir. At the end of the day, is based on one of two things. If there is no hadith, they try to make their own effort to explain it. If there is a hadith, they have to go by the hadith because that's it. If Muhammad he spoke about it, that's it. It's over. You know, okay. so now why is the da'if? Why is da'if hadith? Then you still accept? There's nothing that's called in da'if hadith in Islam. This is this is a this is a new fabrication in the religion. When 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 uh, uh, when the uh, you know the Muslim they became under a lot of a threat and attacks by by us. You know, exposing Islam. Oh. So this this is what the series exists. If you remember, I have debating Doctor uh, Rohi, and you told me you were watching. Rohi, yes. Doctor Rohi yes. said tafsir is exist to fix a problem. Yeah. Okay. What is the problem that Christians, Arab Christians, they expose Islam? So the, so the, the, the Muslims they make tafsir not to, not to explain Quran to defend Islam. This is why you see all the tafsir is, is have a one target is to defend Islam, fabricating lies about what Muhammad and what happened. But even though after all the defense they did, they fail. Look, what, read with me. This is your prophet saying. Prophet said. At every womb, Allah appoint an angel. Here we go. Inside the womb, there's an angel. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay and then he said, Oh Lord, drop of semen. Mm. Oh Lord, a clot. Mm. Oh Lord, a little lump of flesh. Then mm. Allah wishes to complete its creation. And then the angel asks, Oh Lord, will it be male or female? Mm. Oh. <laughs> A, 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 a watch or a blast how much he will be his provision be, will be yes and will be his age okay yes. look at this madness here okay it's destiny it's saying your destiny the angel is uh... my friend the male the male and the female is decided already that the, the the sperm the semen it has that already it's not it's not something at the end happen male or female secondly when he say a clot did you see the word the clot yes do you know what the clot mean yeah, blood clot, like a congealed. Flesh. Right, so it's a dead blood, mm. and the body, the, the human being will actually. This is one of the dangerous things in the human being life. If you have a congealed blood inside your 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 vein, correct, because you will have heart attack. Yeah. So how he says such a thing? Is, so so it, to, so everything it, here, everything here is wrong. You see, he starts saying the drop of his of semen. First of all, the human being is not created from a drop of semen. One semen. The drop of semen is millions, what? billions of semen. No, but like you, it's, it's just speaking generally because the Arab. No, no, this is not like, generally. Muhammad is giving you, my friend. friend the, not... My friend, the Quran speak clearly how Allah created the baby. He said the word the clot. Did he? Yes. Okay, so that's it. We cannot. Is we cannot. Word for, is there a word for microscopic in Arabic? No, what Microsoft? What then, then what do you want Allah, Allah to say? Microscopic one semen, you know? No, like, no, no. You see, clot in Arabic. In Arabic, a clot is a dead blood. It is dead blood. How you say that? It's very. It's not about. It's not about science now. It's something we know. If if you if you cut yourself and you have a blood in the top of your skin when it's go dry, which is to to protect you, right? Yes, Captain. Okay. Yes. That is what he's talking about. Alaka. You know, it's, it's stuck in your, in your yeah. Alaka, a clinging thing. It means something that. No, means, it's not a clinging means. thing. This is a lie. You see, in one of the translation, they say well, that this is not. This is not. You see, Alaka. The Muslim they try to. Me that all the Muslim translations are lying to me. All well. of them, they are lying because we can go Why to the Arabic because we can go to the Arabic and see the interpretation, and you will see none of them agree with that. It's a bullshit. Excuse my language. It's a garbage. Okay. Shame on them to try to change it because not even one Muslim scholar agree that this is mean. Uh, uh, alaka, as they claim.
Did you, did you remember the case I showed you that there is no way my nation will agree about one thing is misguided? Okay, all yeah. the Muslim scholars agree that I could not find one, just one, who claim that the word alaqa is about the leech. They say the leech, mm. not even one. What's the connect? What's the connect? The connect the potatoes. I connect. They ask him why why a woman she cannot be a prophet in Islam. He said because of her ass. I mean, this is a prophet. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, Go and search the video. Go and search the video. He said they ask him a woman. She asked hmm. him why there is no woman. Uh, she is a prophet in Islam. He said, brother Titter, if a Muslim woman he became a prophet, <laughs> he have to lead the congregation, and if he lead the congregation, he have to do to do what he do, and if he do do that, he have to bend over. And that would disturb the, the believer. What the heck? What the heck? Her ass, her ass is the reason that it would disturb them. She is bending over. I mean, the whole Muslims, they will forget about Allah now. They will focus in the ass of a beautiful woman. This is a this is a scholar. This is stupid, you okay. know. Okay. Zakir okay. Naik, Zakir okay. Naik, they ask him about the hoor. Do you remember? You can search the video. They ask him why yeah. women she don't get hoor, a man he get hoor. He said the women does. He said he, he said the women do. He said what? Maybe. He said, yeah, he said, he said, he said, is a plural word. <laughs> but the Quran said that those are the hur, they never have, nobody have intercourse with them and nobody broke their human. This this, yeah. this guy is a stupid idiot. Uh -huh. You know, you call yeah. him a scholar, he's but those, no, no, my friend, he's no scholar. He, he's the eye of uh, Ahmed Dita. He is, a, he is a donkey, but the Muslims, they, they clap for anyone, say anything good about Islam. My go brother, right now, okay, go right now, open, my, my friend, let me advise you. Go right now and start making videos or defending Muhammad and you will see how much you will be supported by Muslims. Just say anything, any crap. The Muslim mm -hmm. they will support you. It doesn't matter how much stupid what you say. Like the same as Muhammad Hijab. The guy he was debating with David Wood, he told him Allah he prayed for, you know. The guy he said Allah he prayed for, not two, as if it's make a difference. Salah, so I, I I talked to my uncle about this. So Salah, it can mean like to give blessings. No, my it's friend. No, no, my friend. My friend, no. Salah does not make me blessing. Even the donkey himself, he made a video saying that the, the, the Quran says that uh, 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 that Muhammad, you salli alaykum, you salli alaykum. Mm. Okay, you salli alaykum. He said, this is the same. It's the same exact word. We go to the interpretation. We find that you salli alaykum means he supplicated prayer to Allah to, to, to for you. So he said, uh, so, dua, dua. no, dua no, my friend. See, here we go. You mentioned different word. The word dua is different from word salah. Salah is something yeah. dua. Even if you say dua, imagine Allah, he, he's, he's making dua. You know what dua? What dua? Oh, true. Who is he praying to? Right. So when he said that he prayed for, not pray to, he he he, he became a certified donkey because you just admitted that your God is praying to someone. Who he prayed mm -hmm. to? Who you know? I like if I say to you, pray pray for me. You are not praying for Allah me as God, but you are praying for a God. Allah and His angels send blessings. That's the translation. That's a lie. That's a lie, my friend. Because here, here we go. Let, let, let me show you. Just to show you how Muslims they lie to each other. They've tried to fool you. Mm, because I've been studying for many years now, and uh, you know, I do have debates with everyone. But like, I came across your videos. My and friend, you are very I can't. I think you are leaving Islam very soon if you did not leave yet. Hmm. Uh, if you go to the uh, to the, you know, I, I, you sound a smart person, uh, and you are not a donkey. Who this Thank who, who you know. like to be a donkey because some people they choose to be a donkey. Uh, any <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you, my friend. When the Muslims they say that uh, 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 that the word you saloon means sending blessing. Let us analyze yeah. together. This is the Quran. I will put it in the screen. Okay, this is the false translation made by Muslims. But let us let us study this and look together at this false translation. Okay, wait for me. Let us uh, zoom in more. Give me a second. All right. Allah and His angels send the blessing on the Prophet. How stupid that a statement can be more than following. Read with me carefully and use your brain, please. If Allah He sent a blessing to you, my friend, do I need the blessing of the angels? Maybe it helps. What help? <laughs> if, I, if, I if Allah, if Allah is God and He blessed me already, what the angels can do more than what Allah can do? 
because the angels can protect you as well you no, know no no my like, friend the angels the angels are, are are toys in the hand of allah they are just servants so that's it if allah bless me my friend like, you know, if, if i am god visit. if i am god and i say i protect you who can who can kill you nobody if i say i bless you who need to bless you after me nobody no because okay, because but, even when i say to you but, listen when you yeah. when your mother she say bless you my son is she really blessing mm -hmm. you no she is asking god to bless you correct all right no there's no man can bless anyone and there's no angel can bless I me if i say no but if i say if i am the general of an army and i say i'm going to protect you and i don't have to take the bullet for you but my soldiers can and so allah the angels are allah's soldiers so maybe they are used to help you know you my friend like my this. friend look at what look what it says this is we, we we have to focus on the word the blessing now it's not about helping that's it the blessing it's our blessed the blessed is not yes. an action it is it is an order if allah allah is god he say if you want something to be it's going to be that's it there's no additional why is blessing? Why is blessing? Why is blessing? Huh? What is blessing? The blessing it's mean According whatever whatever you do is going to be good. Whatever you do, your okay. life is a good life. Okay. You, you will be you will so be a person. You are you you have you have uh, 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 the, the support of God that whatever you do is going to be blessed. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be good. So that's so it. If Allah if God Allah made a decision, you? if Allah. If yeah. Allah, may, let, let us make it simple for you. If I, uh, if I am a king and I decide to give you, I say to you, give him all the wealth. Do I need the angels or my ministers to give you the wealth? Because I am the one who gave all the wealth to you already. I decide the decision will not make any difference. What, what, who are they? They work for me. So yeah. he gave him all what he needs. So what the angels would do? And look what it says here: Allahu wa malaikatahu, Allah and His angels send the blessing, which means both of them they are doing the same action in the same time. Yeah, that's stupid. Because that means that the angels and Allah are equal, mm. and that's mean mm. that Muhammad needed both the angels and Allah, which means Allah is not enough. Same. No, maybe because the if angels just follow Allah. So if Allah is giving the blessings, the angels will follow Allah. It's no, my obvious. friend, the, the, the angels don't follow Allah. The angels obey, and that's it. Obey, it, yeah. And there's not nothing to obey here. Uh, that's it. So Allah is telling the angels to send blessings. No, Allah my friend, obey. how they can send the blessing if this is if he, if he blessed him already? What blessing they will send? You have a warehouse. Okay, open the warehouse and then bless him. He just blessed him. That's it. You're blessed. That's it. Uh, if Allah wants something to be, He say be, and that's it, right? So. But this is here when Allah he mentioned that word by the way it's about the creation something creating something he say be is going to be but now let us say based on that if Allah want Muhammad to be blessed and he decide to be blessed who need the angels and look it's it, the, the madness continue it says oh who you believe send ye blessing on him look oh it's not only the angels it is the the believers and then and salute him with respect so look what happened now. Muhammad became this. Muhammad became the center of the earth and the center of the universe. Everybody in the universe, Allah. Well, why is Muhammad? Really? It's a title means the most praised one, right? Right. This is, is why name, because he's God name, because he is God for the Muslims without without knowing. So Muhammad now is a center. Allah is here, sending a blessing. As you as you as, as they try to fool you with the with the blessing word. No, but I think I think maybe Muhammad became bad later in his years because he said if if Muhammad speaks a lie about Allah, Allah will cut off his aorta. And then when he died, he said this. So maybe at okay, the let end, me Allah let, let me show you how the, how that can be impossible because if Allah blessed him, Allah knew the future, don't he? Yes. Okay. He blessed somebody. He is is not. Uh, he chose somebody is wrong. He chose somebody he don't know oh, okay. Muhammad. Then if 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 if, if uh, Yahweh if Jesus is God hmm. why would he allow Muhammad to do this and lead so many the Bible says Muslims the Sun the Bible says the Sun will raise upon the evil and the and, and the good that's it you know that uh, God he allowed Satan to be exist he can destroy him so that's it you see when we say when the Bible says uh, God he even created evil who, what he meant he meant he created angel but that angel turned to be Satan but God he gave a free will oh, my friend, my friend no we don't believe in jinn there's nothing it's called jinn is this, this is one of the fabrication of Muhammad listen oh. God in Christianity he gave you free will this is why Satan yes. became Satan but in Islam no in Islam as you see that when you are in the womb of your mother he decide for you what you will be you will be this you will be that you will be that what you will be so that's it 
male or female is the decision of Allah. Uh, 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 rich Everything or, is a decision. Yeah, but this is but this is mean. Muhammad he cannot be bad unless Allah he wanted him to be bad. Yeah. Okay. So how Allah chose him to be a prophet, and and why Allah did not say clearly that Muhammad is bad? Where he said that? No, he said, "Ask forgiveness for your sins." You fast and My friend, sins. that's that Muhammad here because Muhammad is being busted. People they say, "How this guy can be a prophet of God?" So Muhammad wanna always make himself look legitimate. So could have, Allah, he said to me, "Ask for this uh, for you for your forgiveness." But did Muhammad ask for forgiveness? No. Yeah, he did. No, he, he did not. No, my friend, pray. look what he did. This is this is a lie. This is always a lie. Do you, do you know the story of do you know the story of the guy Muhammad? He killed him just because he prayed a lot. He wanted to kill him. No, tell me the story. What go you and get about? my book. Go and get my book and love. You will see. The, you, you will see. You will see. Of Allah? Huh? Deception of Allah. Deception yeah. of Allah. Which one? Yeah, deception of Allah. Yeah, Muhammad. Muhammad. He came. He saw. He saw the believers standing, talking. So they said, we're talking about what? They said, we are talking about a guy. He's amazing. He prayed non-stop. He is the best of the believers here. Muhammad, because he's a man, because, because he's a jealous man, as usual. He don't accept anyone to take his place. So he felt insecure. Ah, there's a person, there's somebody. He claimed that he is, or they claim that he pray better than me. And he pray more than me. So what I will do, I will get rid of him. So the guy, he said, and Muhammad, he said, "Do you claim that you are the best here?" The man he said, mm. "By Allah, I do, by Allah, I do." Mm. And then the man he went inside the mosque to pray, and then he said, "Who wanna go and kill this guy for me?" This story, this guy was a Muslim. He's a Muslim, yeah. The, the Muslim, they are talking about him, how amazing he is. Prophet, this is a false story because why would he, a Sahaba that believes in the Prophet say, "By Allah, I do" to the Prophet? It doesn't make sense, my friend. My friend doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't make sense. What what is make sense in Islam? Nothing makes sense. You are right. But the, but sense. this is but this is a story written by you, reported by you, witnessed by you, and given to us by you. So don't tell me it doesn't make sense. This not is what by me. This is by this yeah is by by, by the Muslims who I mean Imam not. Bukhari. Who is, who is Imam Bukhari? These are no one. Okay, my friend, my friend, this is not my problem. You are the one. You tell yourself that question. Who is who is Hafs the one you get the Quran from him? You, he's no one. Mm -hmm. Hafs not he's only. Hafs is a liar. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. He's a thief. He's he's everything. Yet yet you take the Quran from him. No, okay? because this Quran is all we have. We have Warsh as well. So we don't take Warsh. <laughs> Why you don't take Warsh then? I take Warsh then, isn't it? Okay, we take Warsh, but all of them they are the same garbage. I mean, it's the, <laughs> it's the same garbage. It's the same, the same. You know, what, what do I do we, we are just a change in the, my friend. We are just okay, a change in the name of the donkey. Nothing, nothing, nothing no, more. You, you said you said the Quran says a flat earth, yeah? Because in your other video, I see that. Yeah, let us say, let oh, us finish okay. this one. We will go. We will go to the flat earth. Don't worry. Oh, oh, let us finish this one in front of us. So look here, the Muslim they decide to cover the, the cover the issue here that the angels and uh, uh, Allah and the believers, all of them, they are praying and Muhammad. They change it to send a blessing. That is what the small. The, that Tell is the most. Salawat. Tell me what does this Salah mean? Salah is a prayer. That's it. Communication. No. Contact. No, 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 salah is, is to send supplication to God. No, this is dua. Tell me, like, what does it mean, salah, to follow closely the literal meaning, the literal root word? It's coming from the word sila, like you to make a connection with someone. Connection, but salah, okay. But the second you say salah, salah is not about connection with anyone. It's about praying to God, as simple as that. Sorry, this is why in the Quran. I'm, I'm going to use the passage. This, uh, this is Prince. why, this is why in the Quran. Rude. Christian Prince, Christian Prince. I don't want to be rude. I'm just going to use the toilet two minutes. I will be back. Okay. All right. Don't don't, don't forget to don't phone, forget to don't forget to make the prayer. The prophet he said otherwise otherwise shaitan will play with your anus. Remember that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because if you don't do it, my friend, you will stay there for ten hours, as the prophet said. Go ahead. All right. Who's next? Are you enjoying your time, guys? This this guy will not stay long as a Muslim. You will see. He's in the way out. Yeah, that's what their prophets say to them. You know, crazy. If you don't say that prayer, this guy he finished right away, and that was fast. Hello. Hello. Do you, you finish that fast? 
yeah, my toilet is uh, just next to my room. Oh, Alhamdulillah. All right. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, my friend, uh, the the blessing when somebody says a blessing, sending blessing, that is a stupid explanation because if God blessed me, I do not, I do not need any blessing. But let me show you something. How Muhammad always involve everybody in any stupid story. Do you no, know this? Because do you, you said salawat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said salawat means connection, right? No, salawat does not mean connection. Sila, sila, connection. Sala, sala, sala mean a prayer always. This is why the Quran says, "Aqimu salat, aqimu, aqimu." Establish, establish contact. No, no, establish the prayer because prayer in Islam is a special uh, action involve uh, 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 physical it action. In, in, namaz, involve, namaz, namaz, involve. Namaz. No, don't, don't, don't argue with me. You know, I can prove it easy. So if we go in the Quran, it says the chapter six, verse number seventy-two. salah. Do you see it? Uh, I, do, I can't see the screen, but you could read the chapter six. For me. Chapter six, verse number seventy-two. Establish the prayer. Okay, and this is mentioned again. You know, uh, 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 in other verses. Let us see. If we take the word salah. Just to show you how wrong you are. Chapter two, verse like, chapter like chapter two, verse number three. Let us read together. That the Muslim translation, not mine. Who you believe, who believe in the unseen, are steadfast in a prayer. You see, in a prayer. This is what salat mean. You can go and you will this find. This is the Muslim translation. My friend, I don't need Trump translation. I, I, I'm reading for you. What translation you like? No, because you don't agree with the Muslim translation. My friend, my friend, I don't agree. That's why I can because I read in Arabic. But for you, do you know Arabic? No, you know Arabic, so you translate okay. to me. I, I translate for you. Yaqimun salat establish the prayer. The prayer is not a dua. Is not a tasbih. Is not uh, just uh, saying a few words. You have to do certain things. See the Quran mentioning the word uh, uh, salah in a specific way. So when we say, how do we do salah? How do we do salah? You have to stand in a certain way. You have to do ablution before that. You have to say certain words. You have to repeat Muhammad words. You have to do exactly that is salah. Anything else is not salah. Anything else is dua. Is is uh, 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 you know asking God for your own favor or whatever. But, but, but the Quran doesn't mention how to pray salah. It just gives like okay, stand, bow, prostrate, and lie my, down. No my, one lies my friend, down. My friend, this is not the problem. The problem is the word salah. The word salah always come as what we say, establishing prayer. Anything else is not salah. Anything else is not salah. It can be tasbih, tasbih, praise be to Allah. Dua, supplicate, your own request, your own. You can say whatever you want. That's not salah. Salah is you only salah, you. Salah is namaz. This is what you're saying, yeah? Salah is what? Namaz. What do you mean namaz? What does that mean? Namaz, namaz, salah. Um, you know, we go to the mosque, pray Friday, Jummah, like this. Not necessarily. You can do it at home, but you have to do it in a certain yes. way. You have to, you know, to do ablution, and then you do salah, mm -hmm. whatever Muhammad he taught you to do. Anything okay. else is not salah. The five. Okay, so you're talking about. So Allah does salah. Allah, you telling me Allah does, and His angels do Allah, salah. Like... Allah, He did salah. Absolutely, Allah, uh, Allah did salah. He so you see, <laughs> Allah, <laughs> read with me, read with me. Chapter two, verse number eighty-three. Allah, He ordered the Bani of Israel, the children of Israel, wa aqimu salat, wa atu zakat. You see, those are obligation. Dua is not obligation. Establish salah and give charity. Yes. Yeah, this is obligation. So what is obligation in Islam? Is to do fard, fard. salah. This is fard. The, the rest is not fard. Yes. Dua is not fard, you know. Yes. But but salat is a fard. That's it. And when we, the the second we say salat, uh, you are the one who told me Arabic is a rich language, correct? Mm -hmm. So there's many words for the word uh, blessing. Yes. Baraka. So there is no need to use the word salah. Obviously, he's speaking about salah. That's it. Allah did not so speak. Allah, so Allah is doing salah. Allah is doing salah. Angels. Muhammad is doing salah. The Muslim doing salah. The angels doing salah. Everybody doing salah. And Muhammad hijab, he says, Allah, he pray for, not pray to. Suppose he's smart. Now, yes. Now, after he needed to clarify this, he did already. He made a video uh, yeah. uh, to yeah, fix so to, to fix uh, this guy. He he uh, he tried to fix it. He made it blind. You know. So he uh, he made a Did video. <laughs> they will never get close to me. I see speakers called are very like. So I watch all of these guys and like Ali Dawa. I don't like him. He's a kid. Um, My friend, Muhammad is a very intelligent guy. I thought he was made he, very good. He point. is not. No, he's a, he's an idiot. Actually, he, he you know 
this guy is a shame for the Muslims, and I'm glad that no, he did that why, debate. Why, okay, I see David Wood on YouTube. Why he doesn't attack Islam when they're debating? He was like a little mouse. Like David Wood my, was a my friend. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about David Wood. He did what? Mm. What? Uh, 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 David Wood. He asked him many. Listen, listen, him? listen. David Wood. He asked him many serious question. I agree, mm. David Wood. He did not do good job to put him in the corner yeah. to to you know like he get a chance to 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 destroy him immediately. But he's not a debater. David Wood is not a debater, and he is not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's not. No. You see, the second you see somebody keep reading from the the, the computer, always he is not a debater. You know, he have uh, something mm. written in front of him, and he is reading from the computer. I I don't mind to read from the computer to remember not to not to make mistake about a number or something. No problem, yeah. but not to keep reading and you know looking. So he's not a debater. But you have the knowledge. And yeah, yeah. No, you have knowledge. He, he have and he don't he have. This is why they debate him too. You know, he have a knowledge, but his knowledge is limited. At, at least, at least. Listen, why do you not go to debate? You listen, listen, listen. I I. I am here and he will go and uh, I, I, I allowed anyone to call me including you with my respect to you anyone yeah. can call me did I say no to you no, no did I ask you who are you no you might be a big shake you might be nothing who okay I mean I don't care so I am welcoming anyone to call me and I'm almost every day here why, why they don't call me so with the Muslims <laughs> they choose someone who don't speak Arabic in purpose who have limited knowledge in the, in Islam, so he will do the minimum damage. And the second he says something, they start making fun of him because he don't speak Arabic. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. And then, okay. And then Fair that enough. and then that stupid idiot hijab. He said to the, uh, David Wood, uh, uh, you know, like you do not need Hebrew, you do not know Arabic, as if he knew Hebrew. And then he said, Emmanuel mm -hmm. means God is with us, which is a stupid. You know, uh, uh, everybody was laughing. So it does mean that. It does not mean that absolutely, you know. It's, well, sorry, I said Elijah, Elijah, Elijah. He said Elijah is the oh, same Elijah. as he said Elijah is the same as Emmanuel. So he oh, said okay. Elijah, Elijah means God is with us, and this is stupid of him to say. So yes. uh, everybody was laughing, but uh, David would there. He did. He have a chance to to laugh at him and say, look what he said. He said Elijah. This is yeah. stupid to say. But he and he said, him. and he yeah. said Allah is, you know. But he was speaking in respect to the person, you know. I don't know why. For me, if uh, I, Muhammad Hijab was not very respectful he was very rude but he was trying to be comedian he avoid answer any question and the Muslims yeah, they, started with the Quran I found that really annoying when he just started singing yeah and he started singing and he started etc and and, uh, and then he said uh, when he asked him why you Muslims you collect the spit of the Prophet and, and you wipe yeah. your face with it he said okay I'm, 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 what is it this is a, yeah. this is a child this I mean this is stupid the guy what is the answer is so, it true? Is it true that the Arabs fought over the poo of the Kaaba? Yeah. The, the what? The daughter of the Prophet Kamal did a poo poo, and then the Arabs fight over it. I don't know. No, the, it, it, there is stories about even the camel of Aisha. There's a there's a yeah, there, that's what there's a there's a video. You can watch it actually. A video movie. It's a movie made by made by Muslims send me the link, please? about Muslims. Uh, I will try to find it for you. I made a video about it actually before. Maybe you can find it. Uh, the uh, uh, Aisha she have a red camel, and when her camel piss or poo poo, after the camel move from his place, the Muslim they rush and they jump over the poo poo and they fight over it and they start sniff it and put it inside their clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is Aisha camel. This is not even the Prophet poo poo. Mm. You know, so it's like a cult. Uh, uh, read with me. Uh, uh, in chapter thirty three, verse uh, verse number four forty three, it says. Okay. What does that mean? It is him who pray on you and his angels to do what? Read with me carefully. It says, This is stupid because look at this. If this word means blessing, I will go with the Muslim translation just to show you how it's stupid when they try to defend Islam, how 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 they mess it up. If we go here. <coughs> Read with me. This is the most fast translation. It is He, which means who is Allah, he, uh, is who send a blessing on you, as do His angels, that He may bring you out of the depth of darkness. Look at this madness. Have you ever heard of somebody sending a blessing to someone he is in the darkness, and that may make him go out of darkness? That's stupid. It's like hope. No, Talking but, but hope, no, if I if I say you are blessed, you see, isn't it the Muslim they say if Allah wants something to be, he say be is going to be okay. No, if, but it's not it's, it's a test. Life like Muhammad was still. No, 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 my friend. Life. When when I say I blessed you, 
do do yes. Allah bless me right now? He's blessing me. Okay, is Jesus blessed. Is Jesus blessed? We see when we say the blessed God, of course, he is he is the blessing himself. He is the exactly. blessing for the world. You but see, he, he, he is he is the blessing. Well. He is the blessing of the world. He is not about being blessed. He is the blessing. You see, Jesus is different yeah. from anyone. Let me let me explain to you. But, Jesus is a miracle. Jesus is a miracle. God is a miracle. Jesus is the word of God. He is the word, and he's a man in the same time. Jesus is a blessing for the world. He is not the blessed. He is the when we say the blessed God, for he is the blessing. He is a source, like we say. The spring of a blessing. He is the blessing for the world. So he is a blessed, yes, because you know, he is you know, the blessing. But look here, my friend. No, listen carefully. You know, in the Bible, my friend. In the Bible, it says that God is not a man. God is not a man who lie. Yeah, God is not. Yeah, a man and, who and lie. we believe, we believe that God is not a man. Who told you that God is a man? Jesus, Jesus is a man. The, no, uh -huh. we, what believe, my friend? You, you see, you, the problem Muslims they don't use their brain too much. We believe that uh -huh. God became a man, not man became God. Yeah. When you say God is not a so man, but, a man, that's mean. That's mean. God is not a man. Se se secondly, when we say that God is not a man, read the, the rest of the verse. It says God is not a man who lie. So they are speaking uh -huh. about that every man lie except God. God, so never lie. God does not lie. Okay. Jesus never lied. Never. But what did he said that I will come back in the time of the apostles, that I shall be with you and all that. And he, then he didn't come. Like he is with us always, my friend. You see, the Muslims they quote for us verses about the Holy Spirit. They say the Comforter. Have, have you ever heard of it? Yeah. It's, okay. It's, I, I Jesus, he said it's clearly fault. that I will be with you in the Spirit. So the, Jesus, we yeah. believe in the Trinity. So Jesus, go. He is with us. He said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them, which means I will be the third. So Jesus, he is with us. Enter the judgment day. Enter, he come back again. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold no on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, what we see in the front of us that Allah is sending a blessing. May He, may He take you out of darkness. How may, that can happen? If, if. How that can happen? May He. Yeah. What? 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 May? If I blessed you, is that is that a may? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's let's let, 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 make it simple for you. If I say to you, I, I I I I will make you healthy, and then I say, so may you come out of sickness. That's stupid. I make you healthy already. If I promise because you health, God, if, said, God if I, said in the Quran, He will not do any miracles. That's why God said He's not going to do no miracles for Muhammad. So he's not going to show signs. But but here, the, the what I'm trying to show you is not about a miracle. I'm sh I'm showing you if this is a blessing, how this can blessing be? This is not a blessing. Allah, He He pray on you so you may God of dar darkness. It's the same as any man. This is what the word here. They translate the word salah to blessing. Are you are you getting it? Yes. It's the same. I mean, pray for you so you may know the truth. So look what happened. Why would God pray? It doesn't make sense. Why would Muhammad say that God prays on him? He knows Arabic. Muhammad is Arab, so he knows Arabic. So why would he use the same word salah? Because because blessing? because you know the the stupidity is there. I mean, should I make him smart for you? I don't know what to say. Okay, here Allah He sent a blessing. This is not a blessing, this is salah, and the proof of that. So you may bring out of darkness. May it's a it's a it's a wish, right? So here oh. he made salah. I pray for you, so you may that makes sense now, right? Yeah, okay. Now we continue. Yeah. Yeah. If we go in the Quran in different places, just to show you that you are talking about you know uh, things does not make sense. I mean, what is in Islam makes sense if we go in the Quran, huh? No, no, carry on. Okay, if we if we go in the Quran from the beginning of the Quran, what the first verse in the Quran? Surah Fatiha. What it says? What it says? When you open the book, you mean the physical book? Yeah. Surah Fatiha. Hmm. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. No, start from the first verse. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, who is the one who's talking? Bis. In the name of Allah. Okay, how Allah, how how Allah how Allah is talking? Yet He says in the name of Allah. No, Bismillah is not part of the Quran. It is what we say. We say this. This is for the Muslims to say. No, my this friend. No, my friend. This is Allah talking, my friend. This is Allah talking. He did not say. You, no, you see in the Quran. In the Quran, when Allah He wanted to say, He say Qul. I can show you tons yeah. places. Okay, here He did not say Qul. This is why you see this is this is why you see some writers of the Quran they refuse to add this chapter in the Quran yeah. because this was a prayer made by Muhammad 
even Masoud said, uh, yeah, this Ibn is not Ibn he refused to add it. Why? Muhammad yeah. here is trying to copy the prayer of Jesus where he told, where they asked him, Jesus, how we pray? He said, our father out of heaven, and you will notice here with me, he is, there's a lot on here, he's trying to say the same. Huh? And then he says, praise be to Allah, the, the sustainer of the world, most gracious, most merciful. Well, you just say that here, why are you repeating the same thing again? That's silly. Then he oh. says, master of judgment day, Thee do we worship and thin aid we seek. Why Allah want to say such a thing? This. this is just a prayer. We know this. It's just you see, okay, how we prayer. go? Okay, you just say this is a prayer, right? Yeah. Okay. How you know it's a prayer? Because uh, because it's a because it's a wish. It's a wish, right? It's a wish. Yeah. It's a wish. Isn't it the same as the verse I showed you previously? May you go out of darkness. Yeah, but in the Quran, it, says, it teaches us See, no problem. No, 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 that is dua. No problem. But the one is talking here is who is Allah. It's Allah is Allah. speaking about his action. Allah, in the other the verse before this one, I showed you, Allah is speaking Surah about Fatiha? his action, my friend. No, when it's, I said to you, chapter 33, verse number 43, yeah. it is he who pray on you and his angels, so you may go, get out of your darkness. You remember. So here we go. The salah. I, I, I said to you, how do you know that this is salah? Because it's a wish. Mm, it's a wish. Yes. It's, it's a, a wish. Prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If Allah, prayer, if Allah, yeah. if Allah is is God, He don't make a wish. He say, "Be yes, is going to be." That's it. Mm. So this is obviously is a salah. Now, if we go in the Quran, and we try to find how 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 uh, how Muhammad present his God for us, how Allah this uh, this God he he. Uh, he function can you find any place for me to, to explain to me who is how does God function based on the Quran what do you mean? well what do you mean how, does God function? how he function I mean how he understand things if, if we go to the creation of the Quran as an example creation of the I'm earth and the heaven. The Quran, do you not reflect he tells you to be logical hmm. Quran is very logical logical okay name for me one thing is logical in the Quran go ahead one thing that's logical hmm. just say, one you know thing. just one charity. just one just one a challenge between just me and you just one thing is logical like do not eat pork do not eat pork okay let me show you let me show you how stupid that is why because if you say to somebody don't eat pork you should explain why why chapter 2 verse 173 you said you're the one who said you're the one who said it is logical, right? Hmm. Okay. What is the logic of saying to me, don't eat pork without telling me why? Ah, but you know, you must believe a lot. He knows for you what is good. What he you knows, he knows nothing. He knows nothing. He knows nothing. We can prove it he easy. No, he knows but nothing. Pork, no, my, my friend, my friend, uh, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you how funny the logic of Allah. Hmm. If we go in the Quran, in the beginning of the Quran, hmm. we will find this. The same we are talking about, you, you mentioned the pork, that's why I mentioned it. Hurrimat alaykum al mayyata wa dhamu wa lahmu al khanzir. Chapter 5, verse number 3. Love with me. Okay. Forbidden for you food or dead meat, blood and the flesh of the flesh of a swine. Okay. He is repeating the same thing. And look what he says here. Here you will see the logic of, of Allah. This day, I have perfected your religion for you. Completed my favor upon you and chosen Islam for you as religion. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a chapter 5, verse number 3. Okay. How Allah completed Islam for us. That's it. Islam completed by saying, I I, I, I forbid you from eating uh, pork. This, mm. this is Islam. Well, mm. it's not like it's in context, my friend. My friend, it's, 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 it's so clear in front of you. It says, Today, this is my translation. This is your Muslim translation. This day, I ha have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and this, have it chosen Quran, for you Islam. No, it's because the people that put the Quran together, they put it in the wrong order. They don't know the order. They just didn't do anything. Thank you very much. Jump. Now, do you agree with me? If you put things in the wrong order, this is a corruption? I agree with you, yes. Okay, so how the Muslim, they lie to us and they say Quran is preserved. 
This is a new fabrication because before this wasn't the Islamic. All right, hold on. Uh, but do you have the other one? It's not fabricated. Do you have the other uh, book? Is that, the only uh, book you have is this one? So it's, it's fabricated. We don't, have heaven. we don't have the right ones. Huh? We don't have the correct Quran. Because okay, so the Quran is gone. So like there's that. no Quran. There's no Quran. Secondly, yeah, no, today, yeah. this day, I have perfected your religion for you. Is something Muhammad should say at the last day of his life. Yes, Jesus, when he was on the cross, he says it's completed. That's it, it's per it's completed, it's done. Muhammad, if this if is what he said, said if he's if he said that, if Muhammad said that, he says, This day have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you. Now, if the Muslims, all of them, they agree, and I showed you before that the Muslim they say, If we agree upon something, there's no way it's going to be misguidedness. How do they agree upon this? Well, you're, you're taking the argument of saying that if everyone agrees, if there's 10 people in a room and nine of them agree that uh, Muhammad no, is... No, more Muslims, all Muslims agree upon that. I never saw a Muslim who's a true believer in Islam, he say, I don't agree with it. Because Islam no, like, Islam is a blind religion. You don't, you don't, you, you have no uh, right to question. I, I gave you the verse, we, we start with it, where Muhammad he says, whatever the Prophet and Allah this, they decide, you you take right Allah, okay Rasul, but yes, but yes. but but why Muhammad did not tell them how to organize the Quran why the Muslims they have to take a Quran of did, Uthman? did Muhammad leave a Quran before he died never Hafsa? no according to Aisha Hafsa. according to Aisha they have they have a, a few verses the Quran of Haf, of Hafsa you know there nobody uh, uh, there's many stories about burning many Quran etc by Uthman but however uh, that will destroy Islam again because if the Quran is preserved as Allah he promised when the then the Quran oh. is burned. That will be stupid again, proving Muhammad to be false prophet. Do you oh, know, it's just a physical. No, because it, a, not only no, no. Prophet. You see, not physical because simply, do you have the other? Not, not the one is not physical. You don't have both, so it's it's gone. No, okay. So, do you remember the story of uh, of uh, of the goat who ate the Quran? Yes, the okay. Rajam and the breastfeeding. The breastfeeding and uh, yeah. So here, the Hadith confirmed to us. That there is there is a goat where, while Muhammad was in his death bed, mm. everybody is busy, and this is, makes sense, you know. People, a man, important man, he dies, so everybody is busy. A lot of people come in, and now Aisha she said, the verse of stoning uh, and the breastfeeding for an adult ten time was revealed, and the paper was with me under the, my pillow. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with the with his death, and a tam sheep mm. came and ate it. How we can so nobody read this verse before? No one memorized this verse. You can, do, do you know it? Mm, no. no uh, for no, me just... to be honest with you, if I know this goat is going to do that, I will shoot it because I want to have this verse of a yeah. breastfeeding for adults so we can have fun. Me too. You know? Me too, because that would have been good because then the Muslim would give us the milk. Mm. But now, are, are you still a Muslim or not? I I think I'm Malik. I reject all hadith. But, mm. but you are rejecting the Quran, the Quran too. I, I basically we don't have the Quran, so there is no Quran. Okay, so you are the Muslim. Why you don't you say I, I am out of Islam? You know, announce yourself, denounce Islam, denounce no, the stupidity. I still believe in God. You know, I, okay, I still my, friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. How you will know Muhammad is a prophet with all the stupid things he said? How how you can do that? No, because the Hadith. Okay, my friend. Lies. Name for me one thing Muhammad he said is smart. Mm, smart. You believe in the Hadith, right? Do you believe in the Hadith? I uh, no, I reject. You don't believe in the hadith. Okay, can you show me one thing Muhammad he said is a small because in order to accept Muhammad to be a prophet, well, you have to have some knowledge of Muhammad. What Muhammad said to you is a smart. He said, "Be kind to your parents." You know, now, this is not new. You know, in the in the Bible, it says, "If you are if you insult your parents, you have to be killed." Even you know, this is how bad it is. You know, um, I'm sure he will say something smart. I'm just thinking like wait. like what? Like, let, let me show you. Let me show you how smart your prophet. A man who is a, were, a, a man who like is a blind. Hmm? Mm. A man who is a blind. There's a guy who wrote, he came to oh, Muhammad. Sorry, sorry. Came to Muhammad. Mm. And uh, 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 he ordered his wife to cover themselves. And they said to him, uh, blind. "But he is blind. Why you want to cover ourselves?" He said, I know he's a blind, but are you blind too? <laughs> this is a uh, this is Sahih? For sure it's Sahih. 
Why would Muslims keep this in their books? Like for all these years, did they not uh, reject this? Because... My friend, ask yourself the same question. Why you still believe in Muhammad I now? Reject, He's a prophet. I, re I, re I reject this hadith. No, you, no, well, but you reject this hadith, but you did not reject Muhammad yet. Why? Ask yourself the same question. There's nothing. You have nothing Maybe about him. Let's listen, listen, listen. Let's what you are doing. With my respect to you, you have nothing left of Muhammad. You said you reject the Quran. You accept the Quran. Uh, uh, the Quran is full of um, fairy tale stories and stupidity. The hadith is rejected. So what is left for you about Muhammad? What, what, your Muhammad is coming from where? Muhammad is just a messenger. He's not. This is another question. Him. Messenger about what? Where is the message? In order to accept him to be a messenger, yes. where is the message? Where we can uh, find the message of Muhammad for you? you? Take away. If you take away the man and the book, you have nothing left. My friend, you are trying to avoid. You see, you are trying to avoid to answer a question. No, no, you no said, I agree. I agree because okay. now you have. Okay, so, 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 where is Muhammad for you? Why you say I still believe in Muhammad? The Sira, Sira, Sira. The Sira is more full of garbage. I mean, the Sira is the no. most is the most horrible. The the, the biography of Muhammad Ibn is, Ishaq, is Ibn Isham. They write about Muhammad Ali. My friend, you see, Ibn Hisham when he wrote his uh, uh, Sirah, he said that mm. anything. Uh, uh, is not suitable for the prophet we take it off and now after he filter yeah. after the filter still Muhammad looks so bad so disgusting oh. so now you where you got your prophet from you want to believe in Muhammad where you want to get him from the books of Sirah is a joke full of garbage about Muhammad the book of hadith maybe is full of garbage like you know you know maybe Kufar after he died they made up bad stories about him to mislead like shaitan couldn't you know make people tell lies in the hadith this is why th th this is not my problem now you have a problem my friend you are still saying muhammad is a prophet he's a prophet okay what is a prophecy for muhammad well, the prophecy mm -hmm. in order to call somebody prophet i have you have to be a prophet in order to call you dentist you have to work in teeth what prophecy did he say mm -hmm. um yeah, let me think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let me make a prophecy the as Romans long as you are thinking. I would, I would, I would, gonna... let, let me tell you, by the way, I'm a prophet the too. Quran, it says the Quran, mm. the Romans are going to win the war, whatever, that mm. prophecy. That is a stupid that? prophecy. Let me tell you why. The Roman is fighting with the Persian for 300 years. Yes. So correct. the war will not stop until, you know, one of them will be victorious. And look what happened. Muhammad, he yeah, said, right. Muhammad, he made a mistake. The luck is not helping him. He said, Fi Buddha is sinning. Is, is a is a uh, is a three to nine when you say brother it's a it's a word mean three to nine maximum okay okay maximum is a, is a, uh, is nine minimum is a three but the Roman they did not win in 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 three to nine it was it took them a lot longer so uh, uh, and and the story itself is very stupid because you see you are mentioning to me things will make will make everybody laugh you know it's your fault if we go to the chapter of our room, hmm. it says, Who's in the room? Go to the room, yeah. chapter 30, verse number two. Let us go there. Okay. Alif Lam Mim. What Alif Lam Mim? The Muslim, they say, Allah knows best. Leave that one for alone. Yeah. In the land close by, but they, what do you think it means? What, hold on, Christian. What do you think Alif Lam means? Uh, we will go for that because that have to do with the numbers and details. Muhammad, he stole that from the Aramaic book, which is from the translation of Furaq ibn Nufal. We will talk about that later. The Roman Empire has been defeated. Okay. And by the way, it doesn't say Roman Empire. It says a room. In the land close by, but they, even after the de this defeat in, of there, Soon they will be vanquished. Soon here is not accurate. It says, but also in a few years between nine to three, they have to put that within a few years with Allah decision in the past. Okay. And then when the, when the Roman, they will be uh, uh, victorious. Then the, the believers will rejoice here. Here Muhammad is doing popo. Do you notice why? Well, the believers will rejoice because why why would the Muslims rejoice because if the Romans win thank you very much at that yeah. moment at that moment Muhammad was a hypocrite and he was claiming that he is a Nasara yeah. Nasara yeah he was claiming to be Nasara this is why he will be he, this is why he will rejoice what does it mean Nasara not Nasara he claimed to be he, 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 he uh, Muhammad he understand that the word Nasara mean Christian which is false so he thought yeah. the Roman is Nasara and he is Nasara. So now they told him, okay, here we go. <laughs> you know, 
the Nasara, your people, they lost. Okay, what, they lost. What about the end time prophecies? My friend, you know? uh, uh, we can answer one by one. Uh, your your people, they lost. He, so he said, like he was like, uh, like he felt insulted. Okay. So he oh, said, oh, okay, they will win. Allah, he just told me they will win, win in a few years. And he used the word Bada, which means three to nine. And then, okay. Yeah, and then we calculate the numbers. We will, they will find that this was a lot more than nine. So Muhammad get busted again. And in the, in the top of that, he said that in that day the believers shall rejoice. How you can rejoice? The, the, isn't it you who want to do jihad against the Roman because they are kuffar later? Yeah, but this is Allah talking. So my friend, no, no problem. Allah, Allah talking. This is make it more horrible because why the believers will rejoice for the victory of the Roman? Because they are Nasara, so they believe the Roman should win to establish Christianity in the Roman. So Allah, Allah like uh, Christianity to be established. Is yes. it Muhammad? A few years after he decided to go and attack the Roman, and he said, "Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls." Yes. So how he want to kill them, and now he rejoiced for them because this man is a hypocrite. When he is in the beginning, he tried to make himself look like a Jew. So he was praying to Jerusalem. The Jews refused him. He tried to be with the Nasara. His wife, Muslim, agreed that Khadija was Nasara. So he tried, and obviously he married according to the Nasara marriage. Obviously, because Nasara will not marry a man unless he is a Nasara like them. Okay, so but they said in the hadith that Muhammad is Sabian. The hadith says that Muhammad was a Sabian. Muhammad was from yeah. Muhammad like Obama. Obama, he sit with the atheist, he make fun of the Bible. He go with the Muslims, he recite Quran. He go to Israel. He he wear the hat of the Jews. He pray in the front of the of the temple. Okay, so maybe Muhammad is just like a political leader, and he just wants. He's a scam. To... He's a scam. He's not a political leader. He's a scam. He's trying to establish his scam. As simple as that. He changed his color. He changed then, his clothes. The bent in the location. He's talking to who? You know. Why and, would he do all this? Why would he do all this? Because he's a scam. I mean, okay. you want to ask a scam? Why he's a scam? He's a scam. You know, he want to scam you. He want to fool you. But he, he's creating a whole religion to send all these people to, to disbelieve. Why? It doesn't make sense because like, what benefit does he have? He have all the benefit. He got the women. He got the money. He got the glory. He became a king. He was no, no one. They say that Muhammad, Muhammad was poor. He would dirty, tie stones. My friend, it's a big fast. fat lie. It's a big fat lie. Al Khumsulillahi wa Rasuluhu. Every from every attack, the oh. the fifth from the attack is to Muhammad. Let me make a little calculation for you. Yes, yes. If yes, we yes, have, whole, we, yes. Hold on, yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we have, if we have, uh. uh oh. Ten thousand, ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. Okay, ten thousand is Muhammad. Ten thousand dollars is 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 the money the Muslims they were able to uh, steal from the Jewish uh, attack or Quraysh attack. Okay, right. If Muhammad will take the fifth, let us say there is ten thousand soldier, ten thousand fighter. Okay. If Muhammad he took the fifth, what is the fifth of ten thousand? Two thousand. Two thousand, right? Okay, two thousand to Muhammad alone. Yeah, eight thousand left over between the ten thousand army. It's not really fair. Now, but this is because if, now listen. If one, now, now, ooh, now this, if we divide the re the rest, that will be eight thousand on ten thousand people. That's right. mean each one of them he did receive less than eighty cents. Right. <laughs> Muhammad he took two thousand, you know, mm. two thousand for his pocket alone. They'll, they'll get eight, about eight hundred each or something like that. Yeah. What eight hundred? If you divide the ten thousand between, oh no, you're right. No, eight cents. Yeah, this is oh, this is stupid. This 80, is not fair. Eighty cents. They will take eighty cents each. So how they say Muhammad was poor? What is the poor? How what did he do with the money? If, but if Muhammad, my friend, what he do with the women money? The Muslim they lie to us. They say Muhammad, Aisha, she received one hundred thousand piece of gold as a gift for his her her her, her marriage, you know, uh, uh, occasion. Uh, Aisha, she insists that Muhammad, when he come to the house, only there they send the gift. People send gifts non-stop. That's a lie. Imagine you. Plays, do you accept really? Hold on, hold on. Use your logic. Wait, hold on. No, listen. Do you, use your logic. Do you think really? That Muhammad is a leader of more than a hundred thousand people, fighters, including their family, which means that we did not add the number of the family. And then Muhammad himself, he have no no food, and Muhammad himself have no money. But yet he have thirteen wives, he have tons of slaves to feed, and he have the fit from every attack. 
and the yeah. Muslim he cannot even come to Muhammad without paying him in a private consultation really sure the Quran says that you don't know that oh yeah yeah I did oh yeah I remember yeah yeah you cannot mm. you cannot meet with Muhammad if I am Muhammad yeah, yeah. now the, the, the meter will be charging you know your bill will be like like a two thousand dollars already you know so uh, <laughs> if you if you want to meet with Muhammad before you meet with him Muhammad imagine imagine Allah he made yeah, a verse yeah, like why this would people, why would people follow him then why would people if they are poor themselves a friend, who, how, how who, who follow him you know the, the one who follow Muhammad as the gang Sa'alik have you ever heard of Sa'alik yeah the people who raided the caravans yeah those are the Sa'alik he wrote he wrote a letter to the to the to the Sa'alik of Tuhama saying to them yeah. assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh min Muhammad etc to the, 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 the Sa'alik if you if you know if you obey me if you join me uh, you you have my protection if you make me your leader Sa'alik out the outlaw okay. like in America they show you outlaw a bunch of bandit uh, thieves yeah Bandits. those are the one who joined Muhammad and this is the one who scared the hell of everybody around him and those are criminals they are tough this is what they do for a living okay. you know if you They're have like a if, mafia. if I yeah if I bring to you now uh, uh, 10 men from the Italian mafia and we are we are 50 good men who is the one will scare who uh yeah the criminals they are criminals they they they, they don't they, they, they don't have any, any ethic so muhammad he used them and he you know he's about money they they, they like that so he told this, them this remind me of the jizya because i was thinking about jizya why do we charge the christians and jews for jizya and uh now that you tell me this it makes sense it's all about the money yeah, the, the, the jizya. I see Muhammad. He wanted the jizya because he wanted to make money. If he cared for God, he should not allow the Christians. Man. Yeah, if I, man, if I am a prophet who is fighting kufr, how I accept hmm. the Christian to worship the wrong God just by paying me money? Do Allah need money? You know, no. yeah, that's false. Anyway, my no. friend, I invite you to say Islam is a false religion right now, and I invite you to accept the Messiah if you wish to do so. Choose one of I them. Which I, one? I which one you want to do? Study. Which one you want to do first? I think I want to study a bit more. But don't you want to? Don't you want to denounce Islam first to say Islam is false first? I don't know because I already said like I'm iffy about the Quran and I reject the Hadith. But so you are out of Islam. So thank you very much. You are out of Islam. I'm so happy for you. Feel free <laughs> to call me anytime you want. We will give All a right. chance for more callers to call. You know. Yeah, because I wanted to talk a bit different a bit. Okay, you can text me next time if you want to talk. Okay, you can you can text me. I don't text people. I, I text yeah. you back because you okay. said to me you want to talk to me. That's why I do. All right. Okay, I'll text you. Feel free you to much. call me anytime. No problem. Thank you. Now I see I see some some Muslims in the text. They are calling us bad words. Why you don't call me, my friend? Who is the Muslim want to call me? Who is a Muslim from those even who write in Arabic? They knew English, but they are writing in Arabic. Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me. Fake caller, yeah, fake caller like fake Muhammad. Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim? Have the courage not to be a fake caller. Any any Muslim here is not fake. Look like all of you fake. Who is the brave Muslim? Maybe, maybe, who would like to call me? Hello? The funny, a Muslim, he said in the text in Arabic, that the Christianity is religion of the muta. The, the, the idiot, he forgot that Muhammad is the one who made muta legal in chapter 4, verse 24. In Christianity, there is no muta, you liar. That is in your religion. That's in your Quran. It is Quran. What kind of God he allow you to rent women for one night stand or for three hours stand? And you are talking about dignity since when? If you don't have it, you cannot provide it. You're a, you're a prophet himself. He practiced muta. Anyone? When a man he came to Muhammad and he said to him in front of Aisha, I want your wife. I want to have sex with her. Muhammad he says, But this is the mother of the believers. 
<laughs> Hello. Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. How are you doing? I'm all right. Uh, uh, <coughs> I want to tell you so about someone. Hmm. Uh, one Muslim uh, called himself. Sorry, I can't speak English very well. Okay. And uh, there is uh, one Muslim co called himself uh, Abu Amr al Bahis. Do you know him? No, not really. Uh, if you search in YouTube, you will find him. Uh, Hanat uh, channel, his channel uh, title. No problem. What, uh, what, what about this guy? Why he is important for you? Okay. He he ch he challenged. Uh, he says that he challenged every Christian to debate him. Hmm. He's he just coward. He, he's fabricated uh, everything. My my friend, my friend. He challenged every Christian to debate him, but we don't see the Muslims. Do you see the Muslims all, all over? There's a guy, he was doing the same on YouTube. He's a Filipino. He was saying, yeah. where is the Christians? Where is nobody there to debate us? Where, etc. blah, 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 blah. And then we, when we called him to debate him, he ran away. All of them, they are the same. Look, I am putting the name of Hijab and Shamsi and all those kids in, in the title of my video for the last, what? For the last 10 days, if you go back. Every day hoping that maybe they would have the courage to call us, but they will never call. They knew that they are no match. So they can yeah. claim whatever they want. We are here. Yes, I, I know, but uh, I sent him a message. Uh, I told him uh, to debate you. Hmm. I know that he coward, but he, he always make videos, uh, reply to Brother Rashid. Do you know Brother Rashid? Mm -hmm. That in question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm an ex-Muslim. I, right. I can tell from your name that you're ex-Muslim. Okay, I'm happy for you, my friend. So now we are Christian. Uh, I'm searching uh, uh, the Bible. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe is I there, will. Is be. There is something that... you'd like to ask me about the Bible. I'm not a Bible scholar, by the way, but I will do my best to help you. Yeah, my, I will. Ask my specialty. You, but... I have a degree. I have a degree in farting and poopoo, -poo, which is Islam. But I don't have a degree in the Bible, sadly. So yeah, I li I like the uh, New Testament. Uh, I read it. I it was very. Uh, but uh, Old Testament, I will uh, ask you, but not now. All right. Uh, maybe tomorrow. All right, I, I'm friend. thank you. You great. You doing a good job. You are best on YouTube to expel expose Islam. All right, my friend. Uh, I, yeah, yes, you are agreed. I I, 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 ad, I advise you to read carefully the, the, the words of Jesus, his speeches, his teaching. And then uh, there's a way to understand things, the best way to understand. This is what I do, actually. I don't read words. I try to live them. So in order to understand the Bible, to help you how to understand it, try to live in the time. Go back on time. Imagine yourself in the present of the Messiah, and he is saying what he is saying. So try to understand what was said. Try to read about the history at that time too, not only in order to understand the background. You see, like when you watch a movie, what they do in the movie, they don't bring you actors, right? Only they bring you actors who they are wearing certain clothes. And in the background, there is certain background which fit with the story, correct? Yeah. You cannot talk about the time of Jesus and yet you have a car behind you if you want to make a movie about it, right? So, in mm -hmm. order to understand something, you need to uh, try to go deeper in the words and try to understand how people at that time they live and what kind of people they are. And then you will try, you will be able to find more about Jesus and understand him more. Yet, after all of this, 2,000 years Jesus spoke, but you will find that his speeches, his teaching fit with today and even perfectly with your own life story. You see, the, the difference between the Bible and the Quran the Quran is just a recitation of stupidity and Muslim recite without with no understanding. There's no special touch. But when Jesus he speak, he speak to every one of us. But every one of us have different story, have different language, have different ethic, have different uh, 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 culture. But yet his teaching fit perfectly with every one of us. And this is what make it beautiful. And this is why I encourage you to read more the Bible and to make decision as soon as you can after you are really uh, uh, like convinced that this is what you want we don't want people to say shahada we don't believe in shahada we believe that you are going to be born again by accepting the messiah so i encourage you my friend
to read search the books learn about the Messiah and he is the one who will set you free I mean to that yeah yeah I have Bible I read uh, every day uh, carefully I read it carefully but uh, when I have uh, questions I'm uh, I will tell you about my question but uh, I know that uh, Jesus uh, I don't know if he got or not but he is best a best man who I heard about him and uh, but please don't forget to try to to uh, search uh, his channel. He he he's nothing. I know he's nothing, but he he always uh, try to be hero of Islam. And every Christian can not answer my question. He said that hmm. asking a stupid question. But uh, okay, tell him this. Tell him this. Do you have the courage to to give me Skype and I will call him? You don't need to call me. I will I, call him. I didn't find uh, his Skype, but no, ask he him. Has, uh, Post a text. Say to him, "Is it okay if I find you somebody?" Don't say, don't say Christian Prince. Don't say Christian Prince. Say a Christian person. He want to talk to you. Are you willing to talk to him? Get his Skype. And let us get him busted. Okay, I will try. If I didn't find his Skype, I will send him uh, a message. Yeah, I will. But say remember, to... don't say don't say Christian Prince. The second you say that, he will flee. Yeah. <laughs> He, he he doesn't speak English. Maybe he he doesn't know you. He speak Arabic. He, he, he speak Arabic. He speak uh, uh, only Arabic. He, he no problem. I will, uh, I, will, I will make him barbecue in Arabic. No problem. Yes. Yeah. I will change. I, I will change. I will change a little bit, and we switch to Arabic. Actually, in Arabic, I am a, a, a thousand times stronger than me in English, because English yes, is not I my know, first I'm language. Not, I, you know. I, I watched uh, your debate with uh, Sheikh Shi'i. He, you he, see? he called you Zionist. You, you destroyed him. You see what happened he, to him? Yeah, yeah, I made him shish kebab. <laughs> he cried. And the, uh, and the Muslim, they claim that I paid the Shia. He is the head of the Shia in USA. And I, the, the, the Muslim, they claim that I paid him money to say what he said. No, that's lie. A Muslim always say... This, uh, this guy is the head of the, the, the Shia center in USA. He was a consultant for George Bush. For many years, he is a very well-known Lebanese Shia uh, cleric, and yet because he could not answer me and I made him go crazy, the Muslims accuse me that I paid him. Uh, yeah. That's not true. Uh, he, yeah. he was uh, defense Islam, but he, you, you destroyed him. The, uh, uh, <laughs> he was crying. I know. Well, I, I the, the video, the debate. Uh, of my channel, yeah. I have a channel uh, a title uh, X Muslim One TV. Uh, sadly, you know, sa sadly, people here do not know uh, Arabic to watch it and laugh. You know, this guy he was all over the place. What happened to him yeah. is 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 a, is a horrible. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling and try to get me this guy to deliver me in Arabic if he if he dare. Yo, I will uh, try. I uh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm learning English from you also. Don't learn Thank English you. from me. Learn Islam from me. English, my English is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Islam and English. All right, my <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. God bless. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Who is next? Any Abdul? Hello, it is me you are looking for. Who is a Abdul when I explain to us the love story between Allah and the Messenger of Allah? Why too much love, brother? Why? The name of Allah Messenger is on the throne. Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, hi, sir. This, uh, you're a Christian friend, right? Yes, my friend. I am with you. Um, yeah, brother, I want to say uh, God bless you for you know the work you do on YouTube, exposing the lies and how you talk about Jesus and how he is the truth. So I'm a, I'm a Christian. All right. Um, and I had a couple of questions. I didn't want to take a lot of your time because I know you're busy. But all right. Uh, sometimes, uh, like I, you know, like like I said, I'm a Christian, but sometimes I have a tendency to doubt. You know, like if, for example, there are people like. Uh, Bart Ehrman, you know, you've heard of these scholars, right? Yeah. Um, and they, they say a lot of stuff that uh, a lot of the Bible has been fabricated and 
Mm. There's been textual variants in the Bible, and they, they go on and go on, right? Yeah. So well, I just had a few questions, um, and I appreciate your time. All right. Go ahead. Uh, for example, you know how the Muslim claim, they say that Jesus was not crucified, right? Right. So, like, I don't know the actual verse, but they say something like that. Um, and I thought about, you heard of this, uh, what do you call it, Muslim scholar, his name is uh, Gerald Dirk, you heard? I don't understand, say again. You heard of the scholar, he was a Christian, and he became a Muslim, uh, his name was Gerald F. Dirk. Oh, this is not a scholar, this is a joke, this guy, you know. You heard of okay. him, right? Yeah, 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 this, this is a joke, this, this is yeah, a scholar. Yeah, I was confused, like, he was saying something, how in Matthew chapter 27, right? Okay. Uh, he said in the NRS version of the Bible, he said uh, that there were two Jesuses, mm. Jesus Barabbas and Jesus Christ, mm. right? Mm. Jesus the Messiah. Mm. And so he's saying that, uh, you know how Jesus Barabbas was ultimately the one who was uh, uh, let loose, right? He wasn't crucified. Mm. So, he, so he's trying to say that, doesn't it support the Muslim claim that Jesus escaped crucifixion? So I was wondering what your opinion on that is, sir. Yeah, my friend, if you if you go and read the same chapter he's talking about, you will see it says it clearly. Which one I, I should release for you? Uh, 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 Jesus, yes. Jesus, or the Bar Barnabas? They said Barnabas. I mean, it's clear. No, but, uh, and then he said, Barnabas. and he said, I wash my hands from this innocent man, etc. And then they took him and they crucified him. This is a joke. Yes. But however, I don't answer Muslims from the, my book because it's a waste of time. I get them busted from their book. If we go to chapter 4, verse 157, it says, وقولهم إن قتلنا المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله وما قتلوه وما صلبوه ولكن شبه لهم. We go to the Muslim translation, and we will find the following, which is going to get this Abdul busted with no mercy. Always when you when you when you when you answer Muslims, not don't waste your time and start reading for them from the Bible because anyway they will say we don't believe in the Bible anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So why I want to do that? And this is the reason I don't I don't go. Like for example, you know how let me show you, my friend. Hold, hold on, let, let's take yeah. one by one. Okay. okay. If you go and read even any uh, uh, commentary of, of the Quran, or if you read the verse itself, we can go to the verse. Here we go. This is the verse with all the Muslim translation. It says, And because of their saying, We slew the Messiah, son of Mary, Allah Messenger, they slew him not nor crucified him, but it appeared so into them. Now, if that guy is saying to you that Barnabas is the one who was crucified, that's mean the Quran is lying. Yeah. Because the Quran is saying that Allah, he made it appear to us to be the yeah. Messiah. Not, yeah. not a person, his name is Barnabas, mm. you know, which means right, right. whoever was present in that moment, he believed in what appeared to him, which is, is supposedly someone, he, he looked exactly like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now here, we will find a big problem for the Abdul. Their God, their God, he made a poopoo again by saying, but it appeared to them. And the Muslim, if you ask them what it means, what, what it does mean, it made to appear to them, they say, Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. Correct? Yeah. Okay. All the Muslims agree in this false story. If this is a true, that's mean the Christians, what they have in their book is a true. Because as long as you made it appear to us and we write in our book what appeared to us, that's mean we are telling the truth. Yes. Who is a false witness? The false witness is the one who witnessed for something that did not happen, right? That's right. Okay. So if we witness, like... if we witness to what appeared to us, then we are telling the truth. If I saw someone, he's Jesus on the cross. For me, I saw him. He had the same eyes, the same look, the same, uh, the same voice. Uh, obviously, this is Jesus. So yeah. they confirm to us in this stupid verse in the Quran that the Bible is saying the truth and Muhammad is a scam. And that donkey who said that to you in his uh, in, in the, they have a, a program with him in TV, he is no yeah. scholar. He is a donkey because the same verse saying clearly that they did crucify Jesus only Jesus. Same time, the Quran is against his his lie because the Quran confirmed that what is written in the Bible of the Christians is what they saw, and what they saw is someone look exactly like Jesus. And here we will have another problem. If Allah made me see someone look like Jesus in the cross. So I believe it is Jesus in the cross. And then Allah, he sent me someone 600 years to tell me, ah, 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 this is, yeah. was not Jesus. I was playing with you. Who is the donkey here? Yeah, I get the point. All right. But uh, 
Uh, sir, sir, I was about to say basically, uh, you know how uh, you say that Jesus language is actually Aramaic, right? No, Jesus, he speaks all languages, and Aramaic no, is Aramaic one of them. Aramaic was the language that they say, like. He speaks uh, in Aramaic, Aramaic, he speaks in Greek, obviously, because the Roman Greek, was yeah. there too, right? Yeah, so basically, so I didn't, I'm not a scholar or anything, right? I just looked look into this stuff. So basically, Jesus Barabbas, right? They took the name Jesus out of the Bible. This argument was they took the Jesus. Uh, the name Jesus doesn't matter. Does it doesn't matter, my friend. Let's say there's ten Jesus in the in in, in the in the jail in that day. There's yeah. let us say there's one hundred, right? Yeah. Okay. But all the Jews they knew who is the one they want to crucify. Jesus, the one who claimed to be the Messiah. This is why yeah. they put in the top of his cross the King of the Jew. Right. right. So, but, yeah. but did Barnabas claim to be the King of the Jew? No. Did anyone else claim to be the King of the Jew? No. There's one person. So they knew they are talking yeah. about who. They arrested him. They knew him by look, and they knew how he looked like. And Jesus was not a mysterious person. I mean, as a look, because he always speaks to thousands of, of of them. Just a week before he was in Jerusalem, and thousands of people they would welcome him. Right. Right. Uh, because you also think, because you know, in Aramaic, you think the Bar Barabbas, right? Bar means son of, right? I don't understand. Say again. In 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 Aramaic, the word Bar, right? Bar Abbas. Yeah, Bar means uh, son or something. Son of. You think something like that. So Barabbas means son of the father. So he's saying that. You know how they say Jesus, son of the father, escaped. So he's saying something like that. You see, it's, it's still this is a stupid argument because this is against their religion and against their their their. It's the same time, Jesus' mother she was in the front of the cross. Yeah. So even the mother of Jesus she could not recognize who is Barnabas and who is the one is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. And his, and his apostle he came to them again. I mean, all the story there. So who is the yeah. one who came to them, Barnabas? <laughs> You know yeah. who is the one who show his hands to them? This is Barnabas. This is stupid. I mean the story Jesus, because yeah. because you, you can you can make a conspiracy the way you wish, but then the rest of the story will get you busted. Thank you. I had one more last question. Okay. Uh, I don't want to take a lot of your time, but uh, thank you, CP, for answering my question. Another one. What is your opinion on the the scholars right now? Some, you know, there's a lot of Christian scholars who agree, right, that Jesus died and so on. But there are some people like Bart Ehrman, right? What is your opinion on these seven? This this guy is not as is, 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 is he? I, I, I can be a scholar, no problem. But when I come with the, with an argument, I have to prove it. As an example, this guy he says, uh, the the Bible is consistently changed. But, but, but he, what he don't understand, he says it was like we have four thousand manuscript and now we have eight thousand manuscript. But but he forgot that all the eight thousand confirmed the four thousand. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that is that, that would make his, his argument stupid because if I have more manuscripts still they are in total agreement with the with, with the earlier manuscript then what the what the problem yeah you know so let us say today I discover let us say for the sake of argument uh, they discover a new manuscript which have like uh, in in the book of uh, Mark uh, there is uh, five verses more. But those five verses they confirm what is in the rest of the book of Mark. So what the problem? You know what I mean? Yeah. If even if this is true, so it's a silly, it's a stupid. But you know, always there's some people who like, uh, you know, if you want to be if you want to be known, you have to to drive in the wrong highway. Right. Uh, okay. So, so if you, you if you if you go if you go in the highway, let me finish. If you go in yeah. the highway and you are driving the same as everybody in the same direction, nobody will talk about you. But go in the wrong entry, and right away CNN will talk about you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. Take yeah, care. thank you. God bless you, sir, for Take care. all you do. Yeah. Um, and we are, I'll be praying for you. No, no problem. In Arabic, we say Khalif Ta'raf. You want to be known, dress differently from everybody, people will talk about you. Do something different from everybody, people will talk about you. And there's so many people, they do that. It's a business. But can they stand for what they say? No. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Maybe, maybe. A Muslim is needed. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim when I go to the heaven of Allah? If we ask the Muslims, by the way,
Muhammad he claimed that he went to heaven and then the Muslim they start making their own arts which I find it fantastic hello hello this is Nathan how are you hey Nathan how are you I'm good 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 yeah I, I just was listening to the gentleman that called in yeah and um, yeah this is the same uh, fallacious argument that um, that Sheikh Tala was trying to raise about Jesus Barabbas hmm. and Jesus um, Christ of Nazareth and um, you gave a very good uh, you know uh, explanation about that whole situation um, and the argument still doesn't make any sense because at the end of the day the Jesus Barabbas that was supposedly their claim was that it wasn't Jesus but it was Jesus Barabbas that was actually crucified hmm. but in reality the story narrates that Jesus Barabbas was the one that was released and let go in place of Jesus right. Christ which is the, the crux of what the gospel is about that the sinner was set free and the sinless was crucified on his behalf correct but for some reason I don't know if, if Allah or some jinn blocks their their ears and they don't hear no no uh, it's not about you see Muhammad he says something whatever Muhammad he said that's it they take it blindly that's it yeah I mean have you ever seen a Muslim debating if Mary she was virgin oh yeah they even they, will say they don't oh uh, but they, they don't. don't they don't why just because Muhammad said that if if, the, if Muhammad did not say that in the Quran the Muslim will be making fun of you yeah you know as simple as that I, I remember if, very well in California I was debating with this uh, at a convenience store with this Yemeni guy mm. and telling him about Jesus being the son of God and he told me I use are you do you mean that uh, God you know excuse my language you know F Mary to have Jesus yeah, and okay. um, you know I was like it's right there in your Quran it says that uh, Mary is the, the mother of Jesus and God spoke the word into Mary and she gave birth to Jesus but for them they can only think about it in a sexual way and not in a spiritual way because their God he lead them into that that thing because isn't it the Quran says that Allah he said to Isa did you say to worship me and my mother as God so mm -hmm. Allah he inserted Mary in the Trinity and he made her the wife of God so now what what Islam believe is stupid, is stupid religion that Christianity is God wife son is Jesus yeah so Mary and is the wife of Allah uh, uh, and Allah supposedly the God of Isa according to the Quran and mm -hmm. Isa is the son of Allah in the same time so this this is how they present the Trinity for for the Muslims and here we need to ask the Muslim question why your God is so stupid to the point he could not quote the Trinity correctly there's no single Christian believe that Mary she is divine and she is the wife of God well, unfortunately, the Catholics also make that them believe that because no. that's what Catholics. No, no, they don't. No. Well, how? Well, they they tend to like, or they they kind of venerate. They say they venerate Mary, and they pray to her. No, my friend. So, you see, the, the the prayer is no. They don't pray to Mary. That's not true. They okay. pray. They pray asking Mary to pray for them. Don't don't you say the, okay. to to follow Christian pray for me? Okay. Okay. So if if read the prayer, the, the that Catholic they say this is written in the Bible. This is when the angels they came to Mary. They says to you, her, "Shalom to you, Mary." Plus, be you, you between the women, right? They yeah. are repeating the same words. It's not something new. I don't agree, by the way, with repeating uh -huh. it and say that. But this is what they do. It's not really praying to Mary. They are asking Mary to pray for them. That's all. Okay. Okay. Why? And they have their logic. Is it who? who the, the first miracle Jesus he did. What it was. Uh, turn water into wine. It was by the request of who? Mary. This is what they say. That even if it's not his time, he said to her, it's not my time, right? It's not my mm -hmm. time yet. My time did not come yet. Yet he did what he asked him for. So they, they believe of Mary, she is a special person to Jesus. And this is true. So she asked him for something, even though it's not his time yet to do miracles, still he did what she asked for. So they are asking Mary, because Mary is a special person to ask the Messiah. They are not praying okay. to Mary, not worshiping Mary. That's not true. Now, okay. uh, you know, I am not a Catholic. I believe that it's it's wrong, it's wrong uh, mm -hmm. to have pictures and uh, you know statues and those things. For sure, this is wrong. But mm -hmm. we do not need to say things which is not true about someone who believe in Jesus. The Catholic, I believe strongly, there are mm -hmm. Christians like us. 
they believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit they are brothers and sisters in Christ they have wrong but who of us don't have wrong all of us we do wrong and we have wrong right yeah so and even the wrong they do based in their love to Jesus not the opposite yeah you know what I mean even when they say like oh we pray in the front of an icon that not because they are evil but because they have too much love to the person they are in the in the picture but they don't worship the picture okay you know so I don't agree with those things but still that will not make them not the believers they are believers and actually I am very grateful for the Catholic because if not the Catholic all of you you will be Muslims long time ago who is the crusade who is the one who defended Europe who is the one who paid his blood to defend and fight the cult of Islam who is the one who cleans the the, the, the army of, of, of Isis from the, the middle of Europe when the Muslims attack Europe it was the Catholic so we need to remember carefully uh, uh, history and etc there is there is many bad things done in the name of the Catholic but this is not the Catholic people those are leaders protects power money corruption but if we speak about people people are wonderful people and they are beloved and they are you know it, it is Jesus who who choose who is a Christian or not when Jesus come yeah. back he will not ask you if you are a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox he said from their fruit you shall know them so you can be you can you can call yourself Catholic and you might go to hell you might be a Protestant you might go to hell you might be Orthodox. you might go to hell because you don't have the fruit of Jesus from the fruits they will be known not from their names you can call yeah. yourself Christian Prince but not necessarily you are a Christian so you are going to be known by your fruit not by a title not by a name not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but Amen. the one will do his will so we will not Amen. we are not like the Muslims who say Shahada and that's it we don't have yeah. a, we don't have a license to sin we don't have license to crime we don't have license to lie that is Islam you follow Jesus you give the fruit of Jesus you belong to Jesus you walk the steps of Jesus this is what Christianity is about and this is what make you Christian is not a name is not a church is not a priest I hope yeah. I made it clear no you you, you, you nailed it and um, I'm very thankful um, you, you're doing a great job and God bless you so much thank you very much thank you my friend and I, I want to share something uh, very little. Yes. Uh, a few weeks, a few weeks ago, I happened to be uh, in Morocco, in Casablanca, mm -hmm. and I was in at the airport, and I happened to need to use the bathroom. When I went to the bathroom, obviously they have a place where I didn't know it was just an open place where I, I thought you could, you know, uh, pee. So <laughs> yeah, this is for the evolution. <laughs> yeah. So I just walked in. And I, I, all the stalls were taken. So I saw this other place and I just, you know, peed. Yeah. So after peeing there, I left to go to the lounge. And a few minutes, a few hours later, I went back again and I saw somebody sitting right where I had peed. And he was doing ablution. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and that reminded me of piss be upon him. <laughs> all right. Anyway, all right. Take, take, care. Care, take, care. take care. All right. Um, you see always before we make a judgment about anything we better have a deep understanding and we have to be we have to investigate you know just not to copy what people say and sometimes people who claim to be leaders or even priests or ministers they divide us I believe any division is from the devil we as a Christian we should be united Christian is whoever believe in Jesus the Christ as Lord as Savior and the Father the Son the Holy Spirit the resurrection the cross and he is coming back to save us if you believe in that you are my brother in Christ if not you are not I don't care for the church name you go to I don't care for your color I don't care for your language I care for what you believe so we should be united not divided Search for unity, my friend. Ask yourself, who is the one who will be happy if the Christian are divided? The devil. Is that correct? Look what the Quran says. Look what the Quran says. If you don't believe me, the Quran, he wants you to be divided. <clears throat> if we go to chapter 4, verse number 14. Hello? Uh, yes, man. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Go ahead. I hear you. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, I I just want a quick question for you. All right. Uh, I I heard you you say uh sometime before eh, you say that um Muhammad dead body is rotten and stink. Can you give me um reference about that Islamic reference? No problem. Okay, oh, that's that's it. All right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Before we go there, if we go in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 14, it says the following. <clears throat> From those two who call themselves Christians, we did take a covenant, and we never took a covenant with Allah. That's a big fat lie. We don't believe in Him, and He is our enemy, is the devil. But they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them. So we string them with enmity and hatred between one and another to the day of judgment. So my friend, the devil, he have a plan for you. The devil, he have a plan for you. And the plan is very clear. He wants you to be hateful to each other. He wants us to be divided. The devil, he don't want to wake up in the morning and find the Christians praying in one church for one Lord. Isn't it clear? So when we as a Christians we work for division we are working for Allah as simple as that the Bible says there's no Greek there is no Hebrew there's no free there's no slaves for all is one by Christ there's only one church there's only one Lord there's only one belief and there's only one Savior and all of us we believe in him so let us be united against the evil, not to be divided. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And why people don't want to see it, I don't know. The brother, he asked me a question about Muhammad being stinky. Here we go. This is a book. It's called Nihayat Nihayatul Arab fi Funun al Adab. This is one of many references. You know, we just shown you. All right. Here is speak about Muhammad when he die. Let us see. Um. Let us highlight for you. Qala al Abbas. Inna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya'sanu kama ya'sanu al bashar. Al Abbas he said that the messenger of Allah he stink the same as all mankind stink and this is after he died. And look here what it says that when Muhammad he died, Umar al Khattab he stood and he said, Lam yamut Rasulullah. Inna Rasulullah lam yamut. The Prophet of Allah did not die, but his soul went up as the soul of Moses. The Messenger of Allah will not die until he cut. The hands and the tongues of people look how evil he is and then and Omar was continue talking until the saliva coming from his mouth which means this is how much he is so crazy going in that and then Abbas said the messenger of Allah he stink as all mankind stink and then he said continue 
إن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قد مات فدفنوا صاحبكم The messenger of Allah he die so you better bury him because he stink Any Muslim have an objection Any Muslim has an objection By the way we have many reference I mean this is just one of many Anyone there's more hadith speaking about how Muhammad uh, how how Muhammad stink after he died the Muslim did not bury him for three days his nails became a green uh, uh, he start farting gas start coming from his belly which is very normal by the way if somebody die and he just ate a meal what happened after a day or two uh, mostly more than 48 hours the bacteria inside your stomach will will digest uh, food, you know, and that will make a lot of gas. And then your 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 stomach will start going growing as if you are breathing it, and then you will start farting like crazy. But for sure, we have to admit that the fart of the prophet must be like a musk; it's like a perfume. So if you are there, you will enjoy it, and you can take a selfie. Who is the Muslim when I call me and prove me wrong? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Qad rababatnahu. Thank you very much. Somebody he paused for you says, فَتَرَبَّصُ بِهِ حَتَّى رَبَبَطْنَهُ So they waited for him until his belly became big. Rababatnuhu, ya Muslims, do you see? Rababatnuhu, ya Rajul. The Prophet, his belly became so big and he starts farting gas when he is dead. And you Muslims don't want to bury him. Shame on you. Why? Why you Muslim don't want to bury Muhammad? He was out of the grave for three days in his bed. Why? Anyone? Not only his his belly became uh, uh, full of fart, even his his fingers they shrink and they became a green and blue. You know. Any Muslim? Any Muslim here? We have 900 people here, not even one Muslim want to call us? That's weird. By the way, this story here proved to us that Muhammad was a false prophet. Because if you remember, Muhammad, he claimed that if somebody if some if, if a prophet he die his uh, his body will not be consumed in the grave <clears throat> this is why the muslims uh, they did not bury muhammad <clears throat> you know they did not bury him why because simply he said Prophets of God, their belly will not, uh, their, their, their body will not be consumed. If we go here, let me show you on the screen. I was looking for more reference. <coughs> uh, this is a book, it's called Tazhibu Kamali fi Asma'i Rijal, variant number nine. Okay, page number 358. Read with me, Abdul. It's reported from 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 that in this year uh, from Ishmael from etc that when the prophet he pass away they did not bury him until his belly became so big full of gas and his fingers became 
they shrink like you know they collapse you know hello all right do you see the reference guys <clears throat> and here there's more reference by the way uh see your value number nine page number 166 etc Additional to this book, there's many books. So Muhammad, he made a false prophecy that he, as a prophet, when he die, his you know his body will not be consumed. So the Muslim did not bury him. They did not because they believed him that he's saying the truth. But then. When his belly start farting, and his his uh, his his fingers became a green and blue, they said, "This is obvious. Is this this is not true? We have to bury him." Muhammad did lie to us. Do we have any Muslim would like to come and call us? Look how many Muslims are attacking me in text, but nobody can prove what they say. Call me. You Muslims are upset from me for a very simple reason. You can't answer me. That's all. Can you? Why you don't call me and prove me wrong? Let everybody see. You have you have uh, you have nine hundred people watching. Prove me wrong. J give me a call. My Skype is open. <clears throat> hmm? In Yemen, the temple is called Al Makkah. Al Makkah. You can search it in Google. Makkah. You can use the letter Q instead of Q. Makkah. Anyone? No Muslim is afraid to call me. So why you don't call me, my friend? Call me. Call me and show us one good thing about your prophet. Who want to do that? We will change the topic. We will change the topic for you. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and tell us something, anything will make us believe in Islam. Anything, you name it. You name it, we go for it. Is that fair, guys? Name it. What is, what? how you can prove to me Islam is, is even religion? I don't believe Islam is even religion. Islam is, is, a, is a collection of religions. Crazy stuff. Anyone? You know, imagine you have a God. Hello? Hello, is that Christian Prince? Yes, my friend. I've called to challenge you, but uh, only on one little, tiny, little thing. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. You have little time? Uh, as much time as it takes, as much time as it takes, just to mm. get to the truth. Okay. Go I ahead. might, I might be wrong, but I feel mm. that you probably misquoted something about the prophet uh, Rabia Al Basri, and I feel prophet who? I feel that the only way that you could have done this is because you've been quoting Salafi. Propaganda. Okay, what is your religion, my friend? Well, the reason is that you said that she was a harlot and uh, who, she, who, flew, who, she flew a red flag out of a window. Who is the one who has a harlot? I don't understand what you're talking about. What are you talking about? R Rabia. Who? Rabia. Uh, Rabia, she, Rabia, Rabia, Rabia. Uh, and I think you also said that hmm. she was, she, she began, Sufism began with with her mm. i don't believe that's true either mm. but so you are a sufi person you you put it uh, you are a sufi muslim i was once a nashbandi sufi my friend don't tell muslim. me what are you what what are you what are you what are you i am a i am an apostate and a kafir who follows the wisdom 
of of Sufis. Okay. So now, so you are Sufi now. What are you now? Are you Sufi now? No, I'm. I'm just a kafir. I'm an unbeliever. Okay. So what are you now? You are kafir. What? What does that mean? Well, how can I be a, a Muslim? Yeah. Right by the normal definition. Yeah. What Everybody are you? What are you now? I don't know what are you. Just can, can you tell me? What, can you tell, can you tell me? Can you tell me what are you now? Can you can you tell me what are you now? What, we, we share opinions about what, Muhammad. What are you now? What are you now? Obviously, as I said before, hmm. a kafir can't claim to be a Sufi because that is a very very high thing way above me. Anyone who calls herself a Sufi, and many do, my friend, uh, uh, saying to me, uh, "I'm a kafir." What does that mean? What does that mean? Are you a Muslim? Ah, well, to me, it means seeker of truth. My friend, that's another question. Are you a Muslim or not? Uh, no, not the truth. Is so, what not. are you a seeker of the truth? What does that mean? Uh, what does seeker of truth mean? You tell me. I mean, why it's very hard for you to tell me what, what are you about? Well, well only God knows. Only God knows. When when you know, let me know. You will leave it to God knows. Here we go. Allah knows best. Stupidity. And you are the one who said to me, I said what I said about Rabia because this is what the the, the Salafi says. But the Salafi are the Muslims. <laughs> go and ask them why they say that. And why it's hard to say to me, what are you? Stupidity. I have no time to waste. Do we have any Muslim but call us? Yeah, too much hashish. It's hash hash day. Any Muslim? If the Muslim they say that Rabia was a whore, this is their business. Go and ask them why. They have tons of stories about her. I wasn't there. I'm not a witness. I'm just sharing what people say. This is their religion. And this is what they say about her. You prove me wrong. Sufi are funny Muslims who claim to they are Muslims, but the fact they dance, they do music, they go crazy stuff, stupid stuff. I mean, what if, go and see what the Sufi do. If I play for you videos, you will go crazy. If I play for you, Sufi, how they pray and how they practice, I mean, this is the most stupid cult ever. Those, you know, Islam is a cult and have many cults. Hello. Hello. Is this Christian Prince? Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah. I was just gonna tell you something. One little thing. Yeah. Hmm. Basically, I'm, a, I'm, I'm me. I'm the, the original Abdul, basically, not like a fake one, like what you what you speak with. Hmm. Oh, not the fake one. Not the fake one. Yeah. Oh, you are not a fake one. You are not. No, 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 not okay. Prove to no, me that you are not fake. How you can prove to me that you are not fake? Because a real Muslim, hmm. she she just stay at home, pray, fast Ramadan, keep it to themselves, hmm. not go, not go outside. Say I'm a Muslim, I should do this or start problem. Really, and that's what I believe. So isn't it your prophet? He said, go and kill the Christians and the Jews. Um, my prophet, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I disagree on that. Okay, read with me chapter nine, verse twenty nine. Isn't it you, your uh, prophet? He said, "Go and kill them, and if you die, I will give you a barbecue in the heaven, and I will give you a virgin and vagina." Yeah, I don't know about that, but if it's true, what do you mean you do not know? You are a true Muslim. You are a true Muslim, but you do not know. No, 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 a true Muslim. I mean, like all I know how to pray five times a day. No, no, you are. So you are. You are so you, you just admitted you are not a true Muslim. A true Muslim is the one who just pray, or who, or who is the one who believes. No, no, the basic only pray and fast, and that's about. Abdul, Abdul. In, so I don't get involved with everybody. Okay, are you involved with Islam as a true Muslim, or you are not involved with Islam? Um, how can I put it in the right way? Mm, put it in the right way. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm just I'm, I'm involved with Islam, but. Mm. Basically, not proper hundred percent. Just like, but but but, but okay, okay. So so you are saying the other guy was a fake Muslim, but you just admitted that you don't want to follow Islam. So who is the fake no, Muslim? No, no, now? no, 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 no. There is a lot of fake people like that. They say how we Muslims and that, but they end up doing bad things. But you don't, you know, but you don't follow Islam. You don't want to do the bad things because Islam teaches you to do bad things. As an example, yeah, chapter nine, yeah. 
Chad, you, yeah, if, you guys, did yes, you see? He yeah. agree. He agree. Islam teach him yeah. to do bad things, but he is a good guy. He don't want to do the bad things. He is go, He's a Muslim, but he don't want to do the bad things. Islam teach him to teach him to do. No, so, what, what, what the teaching? What the teaching? To kill the Christians, to kill the Jews, to kill the enemy, to kill the one who don't believe no, in Allah. No, that's wrong. I will never kill anybody. Okay, if, so if, so why you are if, saying? If, if, so why if, you are if, saying? If, if, okay, hold on. If, why you are saying yeah. you are a true Muslim when you don't believe in killing everybody? Because because those people who kill people, yeah, they're not real Muslim. They're like fake. My friend, what? Was Muhammad a fake Muslim? I don't know. I never. I don't know. Well, when Muhammad he but, said. But, Muhammad he said. I've been ordered. Hold on. Muhammad he said. I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. But if he if he really did that, then I condemn him. If he really did that. Okay. Let us see. Let us see if he did that or not. Here we go. I will put it for you in the screen. I, I, I can't see the screen by the way because I'm using my mobile phone. No problem, but my I'll, friend. I'll, 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 I'll read, I'll I will read for you. I will read for you. No problem. You know, you sure. sound no you sound like a nice guy. I like you, you know. Here we go. If we go, you see Muhammad is saying in many places, and this is a very, very authentic that Muhammad is said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind here to fight to order. The word in Arabic is qatil or qatil, which means to fight yeah. to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people, party, yeah. Uh, to the people till they say none have has the right to worship but Allah and this if they say so pray like our prayer face our qibla and slaughter our slaughter as we slaughter then yeah. their blood and their property will be uh, uh, sacred to us yeah okay so what does that mean yeah to be honest yeah, I, I, me, I'm not familiar with it but if it's true then I don't want anything to do with it if it's true thank you very much you just left Islam my friend I'm happy for you no no no, no. I didn't say I left Islam I said if it's true then I don't think because there's a lot of fake hadith out there my friend this is not a hadith is a Quran says they're the same yeah, chapter yeah, yeah, 9 yeah, yeah, chapter yeah, 9 there's, chapter there's, 9 there's a lot of fake, there's a okay. lot of fake Qurans out there as well but okay I believe I'm not, what about I'm the Quran is the Quran fake Quran too chapter 9 no, no, verse no, 29 no, no. The Quran is real yeah but now is be, a lot of being added yeah people created their own Quran make all lots of lies. Ah, so, the, so now the Quran, just, just, okay. So just, now the Quran just, just, is fabricated. Okay, so we today no, we no, today we no, have no, a, two Muslims agree that the Quran is fabricated. No, no, because there is there is some fake Qurans out there. Yeah, people added that just for their own benefit. No problem, but, no problem. But now you just admitted that Islam, the Quran of of, of Muhammad, is fabricated. It's full of lies. No, no, there is real ones there, but there's some lies. So no problem, no problem. There is some, there is some lies. Yeah. Thank you very much, guy. Did you hear it? There is some lies in the Quran. Okay, what is the lies in the Quran? Any verse is speaking about killing people, attacking people, stealing their money yeah, is a lie, yeah, correct? Yeah, when it says kill, kill, kill Christians, that, yeah, that's but a this lie. means all the Quran is a lie because all the Quran is about killing people. Not, the, but the Quran that I have, it doesn't say that though. Where? The Quran that I have, it doesn't say that. But there is some fake Quran. I'm not gonna lie to you. There is some fake Qurans up there mm -hmm. just to make people that uh, give Islam, Muslim people problems. Okay, how we know which is one is fake Quran and which one is not? Okay, as long as you are an expert one. I, um, I'm not expert, but I'll, I'll do my best. But mm. any Quran that says kill these people or anything about mm. other things like bad things, for example, killing, mm. then that's fake. That's like, all the Quran, that's all that's mean all the Quran we have is garbage now. Pardon? That's mean all the Quran we have today is garbage. What we will do now? Yeah, no, but the Quran that I have it doesn't say that though. Which Quran you have? Read for me. What what what, what is the name I, of the Quran? I, I, I don't have it because I'm at work at the moment. Okay, what is the I'm name not, of your what not, not, who is the translator of your Quran? Um I don't know, but I can call you back later and find out for you. No problem, no problem, my friend. Yeah, call me later. What, I like you by the way. What, I'm I'm going how long gonna be like basically how long gonna be life to, to what I time? don't know until, until my four wives show up. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, but, I have four yeah, wives and four mother in law. If I don't get hold of you today, then definitely I can call you. Mm. On the weekend, because I've got day off. I don't work on the weekend, so I can no. call you and give you the, the details of my Quran. No problem. May, may the version of Allah protect you. Do you believe in the versions of Allah? Uh, do I believe the versions of Allah? Yeah, the versions in heaven. They are. They have no panty waiting for us. They have what? No panty. Well, wait, um, as in like girls waiting for us. What you mean? Yeah, in the heaven, there's women with no panty waiting for you. There, Allah, He made them no. just for sex. You don't believe in that? No, that's, that's I think that's nonsense. I don't believe in that. So what is left in the Quran? You don't believe in the the verses of Quran. You don't believe in the verses of version. Okay, let me ask you. There's a lot of people okay, that believe friend. in seventy-two virgins, but I don't believe in that. I think that seventy-two virgins okay. is nonsense. Do you believe that Allah will give you barbecue in the heaven? Um, no, I don't believe in that. But he, I believe that Allah will give me whatever I want. It doesn't have to be barbecue, like whatever I ask. No, but for. he said he said that there. He said uh, uh, you know the meat of birds, meat of birds, and he mentioned certain kind of food you will drink and eat. Mm. 
Yeah. No, I, about... I don't know about that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I, I'm being honest with you. I don't know about that. I don't know. No. Uh, okay. I, I have the but. But anyway, I'm gonna call you again on the weekend. Uh huh. Yeah, because I'm I'm not working the weekend. Then mm. I continue the day with my Quran. Then we can let. Talk what about, about what about boys in the heaven? Do you believe in the boys of Allah in heaven? Poison, what is that poison? Boys, boys, and uh, boys who they are very white and they will be serving you and they have like uh, see through clothes and they are white. No, no, what I heard, what I heard, yeah, is the Quran when somebody dies, mm -hmm. if, if he's bad, he turned really, really dark, as in dark black, or really, really white, as in pale color white. Wow, so if I die it's and I'm bad, I will be black. No, 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 it's a dark, dark, not black, and there's a black, like the size of the color of my shoe is black. Yeah, this you will I be heard. black. Yeah, I will be black. Is, if, if I am yeah, bad, this, I will be black like the color of your shoes. That's wonderful. But don't yeah, you think this is disgusting? Why Allah will make me black if I am bad? I don't know, because some people say it's nonsense. With me, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I can't decide. But I, I, think, I think it's that part you know is what? nonsense. You, you know what? I, this is this is confirmed to me that I should be black. I mean, should be should be bad because all my life I wanted to be black. No, you're not a bad guy. You're a good guy. No, no, I'm saying, but I like to be black. I mean, I'm jealous. Look at the guys who they are black. You know, they, they, I, don't, I don't even have a girlfriend. I don't have a wife. If I if I turn to be black, at least I will find a wife, brother. So now you are saying to me, if I'm a bad guy, no. Allah will make no, me no. black, will make me so black. So finally, I found a solution no, no, for no, the no, problem. No, no, no. Not black as in black, like the color of my shoes. Really, I understand, really, I understand. Really yeah, yeah, really, really dark. Really, 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 yeah, really, yeah. really. I got you, I got you. But don't you yeah, think that yeah. this is this is a stupid to say that a human being will turn black like yeah, the color know, of your I, shoes? I, I know this is stupid, but this is what I heard. Mm. I'm, I'm right. not gonna lie to you, I know it's stupid, but this is what I heard. Mm, I see. I'm not gonna dis I'm not gonna disagree with you. Yeah, all right, okay. Well, sound like you are a very educated person, and uh, I'm very thankful that you called me. I learned a lot from you, by the way, today. I, mean, I learned a lot from you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But yeah. <clears throat> I gotta because I need to go back to the office now. But a hundred percent gonna call you on the weekend. Mm. My but friend, anyway, it was it, it was very good talking to you. By the way, thank you very much. Very, thank you very much. Call me anytime. Right. Call me anytime. I will right. give you. I will give you a pass to my to my to call me anytime because usually, you know, not easy for to 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 reach me out because I am the same as Muhammad. I am busy. I have a lot of uh, women, brother. <laughs> yeah. Okay, God bless you, sir. Take, Take care. care. Take care. Take right. care. Bye bye. 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 I mean, those are Muslims. Where are the Muslims coming from? The, the guy is calling me to say the one, the one who was calling me before is a fake Muslim and he's a true Muslim. Here we go. <laughs> Unbelievable! What a mad religion! And God will make me so black, like the color of the shoes, because I'm a bad guy. I want to be a bad guy. I like that. If I apply for a job, I will get it first. If somebody tried to do something to me, I would say to him, Black Life Matter. <laughs> what a unbelievable. Do you see how racist this cult is? Why Allah want to make me so black if I am a bad person? If you are a good person, Allah will make you so white. What a crazy cult. Stupidity is amazing. Oh boy. Look at those ladies. This since they heard I'm going to turn black. Look at them. Suddenly the flowers is coming to me. Look, look, look. Everybody, all the ladies are carrying it. Man, look at this. I just said I will turn to be black. And look what happened. My life is changing. Look at the flowers. It's not, I, I just even mentioned that. It's not even yesterday. It's not la now. Unbelievable. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, CB. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. Hi. Um, I'm calling from Toronto, Canada, actually. All right. Um, you know, I thought living in Toronto, I was one of the the luckiest people that are not affected by this religion. And, you know, I just got a news uh, from my dad that there's a mosque in a nearby city hmm. that's funding the Hezbollah Mujahideen in Kashmir that are fighting uh, Indian troops. That's nice. You know, and I thought I was living in, in, <laughs> in a country, in a city where this kind of thing would never happen. You know, it was like unheard of. Like, you know, how, how, how could it happen in, in, in Toronto? Yeah, my friend, why why are you playing them? You know, you brought them, them you gave them video, uh, visas, and you know, 
And why you why you blame a terrorist to be a terrorist? It's in my hands, man. I will, I will, I will take them all out. It's not in my hands. And uh, I see. Uh, 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 just uh, I saw in the news today that in Italy, you know, there is uh, today and the and, and uh, in the last three days, the, three days ago, they arrested someone, three guys who they are planning to shoot the crowds in Italy, in a city in Italy. Today, they arrested a Lebanese Muslim who was he want to use a chemical weapon and the, the virus and bacteria, you know to do a big attack yeah. in Italy so why I want to blame them I know I mean I know that uh, having here having them here is a risk I know what they believe in let us say I bring 1,000 Muslim none of them want to do terrorism but only they say to us that terrorists are 10 percent of Muslims Okay, and that's too much. Okay, if ten percent, so you are saying to me, from every one thousand Muslim, there's one hundred they want to kill me. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's more than enough, you know. It, 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 like like David David would say, you know, it didn't take a whole lot of Muslims to you know um, fly those planes into the buildings. It yeah. only took one or two. My friend, I don't blame any Muslims to do what they do. I blame the stupid ones who bring them. As simple as that. Yeah, I was just shocked, man. Like, you know, I, I thought I lived in a city where this kind of thing would not be heard of. And there's a mosque that's actually, you know, investing in that. My friend, sort of in thing. Canada, in Canada, there was a bank, I forgot the name of the bank, was funding Hezbollah for more than 40 years. And just two years ago, they discover that this bank owned by Hezbollah. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Canada is a screwed country, my friend. Sorry to say, but this is a very screwed country. Very bad country. Still better than most, but I, I, it, I it just, you know, it just pains me to see that the my, way they're heading. My friend, is, Canada, is, is Canada is doomed as long as long they do what they are doing now. Look, who, look, who, look, who is the prime minister of Canada? Look at this idiot. I was going to send you the picture of this guy actually standing in the in that same mosque and giving a speech. I'm going to actually send you the picture. I know, I know, right I know. Now. Don't send me, please. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to. I'm, 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 I'm sick of those people. But if this is, if this is what the Canadian they vote for. The Canadian, they are doomed. Oh no, they they they're, they're awake now. They're, they're saying they're not going to work, work for him. Um, I'm pretty sure he's yeah. out. Uh, after what he made, he made the minister of immigration a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. I mean, the stupidity is amazing. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, uh, in Arabic we say, uh, uh, like, uh, I don't know how to translate that in English. Like, there's a guy, there's two guys. They were trying to cross the river. And in the mm -hmm. old day, they used to make a leather, like uh, animal leather, and they blew it with, with air and they tie it up. So they mm -hmm. can cross the river and they will not be drawn. So one of them, when he arrived almost to the middle, the leather he have start leaking air. So mm -hmm. he start asking for help. The other guy, he cannot help him. So he said to him, your hand, your, your mouth is the one who blew it and your hand is the one who tied it up. <laughs> you know, which means you blame yourself, you know. Yourself, yeah. it's, you are the one who blew it with your mouth and you are the one who tied it up so why you are crying now for dying and this is what the Canadian and many Western countries are doing you know they do it with their mouth and they do it with their hands and they wonder why this is happening and to blow it up yeah you right. anyway my friend thank you for calling let us see if we can get some Abdul here uh, All right, man, thank you. Right. Uh, by the way guys don't forget to if you have Instagram don't forget to subscribe to my uh, account there Arabian Prophet there's many of you already they join already so uh, feel free to subscribe so I can update you and uh, when I go on on air <clears throat> uh, you know we can we can inform you do we have any Abdul any Abdul wanna call us may they may they Anyone? Anyone? Nobody. All right. Well, I think we have a good time, and I hope we will find a real Muslim who can really jump and challenge Christian Prince. And uh, I think that they will come. But we have to wait for Allah. Do you know? Do you know, guys? When when uh, uh, when the people they ask Muhammad for a miracle, do you know what Muhammad he said? Who remember? Let us see how many of you are learning. Who remember?
in chapter 60 six, chapter 6 verse 158 the Arab they challenge Muhammad how come you don't have miracles how come I mean what's wrong with you every prophet in the world have miracles okay except you so look what Muhammad he said to them as a response very powerful I mean wow I mean really really wow read with me Are they waiting to see if the angels come to them or the Lord himself or certain of the signs? So they are asking for a sign from who? From the Lord. The day that certain of sign of the Lord do come, no good will do to you a soul to believe in them. Then if it believe not before nor earn righteousness, through its faith say wait and we are waiting with you <laughs> wait 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 the, the miracle is coming and we are waiting with you Muslims who is who is the one who is waiting with him who is the one who say wait and we are waiting with you Allah speaking people they are asking for signs and a miracle what this speech is about Give them a sign. What do you mean? Wait, I'm waiting with you. Do we have any Abdul here in the bushes? Maybe, maybe any Abdul. Huh? Wait, and we are waiting with you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What a what a stupid cult. Let us see here in the translation in this website what they will do. <clears throat> same in chapter 11 122 the same garbage but here is a different story actually hold on <laughs> oh boy let us see a translation how the Muslim tried to cover this say we Lou, we are too waiting. <laughs> Say, wait, indeed, we also are waiting. <laughs> the miracle is coming, it's coming. The Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is going to be in town soon, very soon. Hold on. Say, wait, ye, we too are waiting. Hmm. Muslims, for how long we will wait for the miracles of Allah to come? Next year, this year, next month. Any Muslim? Here we go. We are waiting too. Christians do not need to wait for Jesus to do miracles. Jesus, he did miracles in every step he go. Allah, everybody challenging Muhammad, where is your miracles? Wait. Wait, it's coming. It's in the shipping. It's in the customs. Right? Anyway, guys, we are here already for many hours. I hope you guys, you have a good time today. Don't forget, please, to subscribe. And again, subscribe to my Instagram. In case you don't know it, you can go to the banner. Click at my name in YouTube. Click at the banner. You will see Instagram account there. You can go there directly, and you will see my Facebook, and you will see all the links you need to know in case you like to subscribe tell your friends and challenge the muslims to come and call us what we do here is very important for education so nobody will fool you we arm you with knowledge and answers and you will be first hand witness for how muslims are in this ability of answering about their cult islam is a stupid cult believe in stupidity that there's god in heaven who provide us if we believe in him barbecue and the barbecue is uh, full of uh, birds, you know, one kind of meat. Uh, by the way, it's one kind of meat. Have you ever heard of a barbecue, one, one meat? What kind of a buffet? There's no, even there's no hummus. Even hummus, there's no hummus. There's fruits, there's meat of bird, there's wine, 
there's one 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 kind of wine mixed with ginger. I mean, what kind of wine will be mixed with ginger? Try it. Let us see how it tastes. Ginger and wine, interesting. Uh, <clears throat> and in the top of that, naked women waiting for us in the heaven. Who in the world want to believe in such a thing? And what kind of God this God is? And each time you sleep with those women, Allah will make their private part brand new again. I'm not going to say the word, but you know what I'm talking about. This God, he tried to seduce you and to tempt you. Tempt your belly, tempt your penis, tempt your sexual desire, tempt you about money, tempt you about food, and nothing there is about God. It is just a temptation. And wait until you get what he promised you. It's in heaven, brother. You die for him, he gave you those things. You better die. Brother, the virgins are waiting for you. And those virgins, they are very wide to the point you can see through their bones. I'm sure many of you, you know, all those Muslims, by the way, who do jihad, they don't care for Allah. All of them, they are waiting for the virgins. All of them, they want the naked women who they are made for sex. That what is Islam is about. There's no good, there's no God, there's nothing but temptation of the devil for your stomach, for your belly, for your penis, for your sexual desire, for your abuse. 80,000 little boys will be serving you, child abuse in the heaven of God. You tell me what kind of heaven this heaven is. If you are a Muslim and you are listening, be honest with yourself. And try to find out what kind of God is yours. This is not my God and will never be. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that.